want to get my inspired to with you. Oh, I already started. Well, before you do the talking thing. It's the pregame, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, I'll do my own. <laughs> this is episode 15. Follow the arrow and the heartstone. Today is... What well, day is it? Today is the 27th. March 27th, 2014. Can you believe the month is almost over? Ooh, no way. I mean, I swear to God, it was just January. <laughs> well, I'm not lying, dude. I'm, I'm not playing here. I, I swear it was just January. I know, the bastards. I blame uh, daylight savings and all that crap. Dude, I blame more than that right now at this point. I, I just the show hasn't even yeah it's not even it's not even started yet we're already freaking going to town well I was saying the show the show hasn't officially started and I'm almost out of coffee it's kind of sad whoa dum 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 oh here we go again with the e-cigarettes dun 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 <laughs> vanilla bourbon's the best flavor I think I got a concoction I mixed together here uh, butter, rum, uh, caramel macchiato, and coconut. It's pretty good. But I might have to get a a new, like, ionizer type thing. Atomizer, whatever they call it. Because okay. now it smokes more like a hookah than a, than a cigarette. That's not bad. Gotta make sure we're nicknated. Hashtag Nickinated. I'm tweeting and tweeting out. And the lasers, that's my that's my that's my phone. Mm. Alright, one minute. All right, let me tweet out. Oh, yeah. Why is my Twitch not working for some reason? What's going on here? It says it's excellent. Oh yeah, excellent. Excellent. Oh, yeah. You like it like that. Do you? Not Panda, what's going on? Alright. You ready, Yoke? Yes. Let me know when the music is done. I'm tweeting oh, out. We're, we're getting ready to do it. I'm going to start talking here in a second. Welcome, geeks and gamers, to Horseplay. Today is March 20th, 2014, and this is episode 15, titled Follow the Arrow and the Hearthstone. Welcome back, guys. This is Horseplay. I'm joined once again by the fabulous none other than yogi zilla i did say fabulous didn't i i did made sure i said that did i just seriously screw up the dates march 27th my so bad i didn't I'm actually reading a script right now and he just does you know just doesn't think about my feelings I, I i feel bad about that i was trying to keep it straight for so i said it never did be good i do feel bad. bad about it man you really should feel bad about it <laughs> I thought I changed that part. Well, the one time you actually read the script verbatim, I have I have the wrong info in there. Well, <laughs> and everybody everybody that watches the show every week, they know I don't read any scripts. I try to just come off with the top of my head because nine times out of ten it sounds better. But once he, you know, Yogi's writing this, so we want to make sure that you know Obi read the damn script. <laughs> yeah, that's just how it is. But anyway. 
once again, again, here I'm gonna just I'm just gonna start reading it again. Yogizil. I had to make sure I pronounced that word because it's all in caps. So I have to, make, you know. What's up, bro? How you doing? <laughs> How's your week been? Fan freaking tastic. Super busy though. Super duper busy. I just finished sending out that tweet, inviting some people in here, so we get the party going. So I just wanted to share my week real quick. So we haven't had as much of a chance to talk this weekend. No, we I, want. I want to start doing that anyway. I want to know what you're doing. Yeah. I don't talk to you but once a week, and guess what? It's on the show. I call you on the phone, but you're like, I got to go, man. <laughs> well, once upon a time, we used to talk like every day and play League of Legends every day. But then someone discovered a game called Arma 2. And now he does everything. Oh, and then the bowling league started. I feel like I feel like a freaking, you know, unattended wife. I'm about to, like, serve you divorce papers. Well, file them up because <laughs> I'll tell you what's new in my week here in a second. Go ahead. So, we went away for the weekend, and uh, uh, it was fun visiting family. And uh, the coolest thing about it, well, two cool things. I found an awesome pizza joint, which to me is always a big thing because I'm I'm still a New Yorker at heart, and any place that I live in or visit has to have good pizza or at least good t Chinese takeout. Those are the prerequisites. If you don't have that, not a fan. And this place had really good pizza. It was budget friendly, and you know it was eight of us eating together because we're a huge household. So, <laughs> I, yes, we don't mess around. We go in the deep. We have our own little army, little own little militia. No, 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 I think we're good. I think we're good on that. <laughs> I can't wait for all of them to move out and then have the man cave to myself for some peace and quiet and have a normal schedule. I love them to well, death. Then, well, but, then, you know, once you know, once you know, once we get big and we actually can travel and stuff, we'll just make sure that you know you'll be able to come up, come up here to the the north studio, and then I'll be able to go down there to the south studio. How's that? We'll just make a plan right now. Because you're going to have your own studio eventually. Because you're just going to be the biggest name in, 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 <laughs> in the internet. Yogi Zilla, catch him live. Well, yeah. well that's, that's my next segue. That's a good segue because my other thing is apparently I found out that I'm almost famous. Or I'm pseudo-famous, whichever way you want to look at it. Or quasi-famous. Because I didn't know I didn't know Twitter Twitter worked the way it does because I, I feel like I'm famous on Twitter. I get freaking mentioned in every everybody's tweets. and <laughs> I'm tickled. Twitter is awesome. Say. I'm a rock star on Twitter. Another thing, not so much. Uh, I'm on blog. I'm pretty rock, pretty, I'm pretty much of a rock star too. But on on Twitch, I didn't think and people were really watching my Twitch and YouTube videos. And I went to a new town I've never been to in Middle Georgia, and we went to the, the their local e-cig shop there to see what kind of stuff they had. Dude, they had freaking um, a a battery for the e-cig. That was like a cartridge for an, ass for an assault rifle, and it was heavy. Yeah. It was like it had 50 cal rounds in there or something. It was crazy. I was like, what the hell is this? This thing was heavy, dude. And it, and it was freaking chromed out, and I was like, what the crap? This thing, you could knock someone over the head with it and probably kill them, or at least it, knock it, them out. It, and it was probably like 120 bucks, wasn't it? No, actually, it wasn't too bad. It was, uh, the, it was like the super extended battery. I think they wanted like uh, 60 or 70 for it, but it was a whole kit. Like it had uh, USB connectors and all this crazy stuff. Um, I mean, pretty pretty crazy. A battery that big. For people that don't want to stop smoking, it's like they could just toke on it all day long. <laughs> oh shit! Well, that's what I do though. I mean, I you know, I still smoke. You got the longer but battery I mean, though. Look at yours compared to mine. Put it up to the camera. See, yours is a little longer. I, I get a, the way I smoke when I can, I go into chain smoking bouts. I get maybe, I don't know, like three. Three hours out of it. Mine lasts all day. Mine lasts I, for no. Seven, dude. Actually, I get I get more than that. But I mean, yeah, I get about a whole day out of it. You know, if I'm not too aggressive with it without charging it. But this thing's hardcore, dude. But anyway, so I found out that I was almost famous because I, you know, I'm talking to this dude and and he's and um when he showed me the thing, he goes, yeah, that this that thing is op. And I'm like, wait, are you a gamer? <laughs> and all of a sudden we started man bonding. He's like, hell yeah, dude. I'm like League of Legends. He's like, hell yeah. And then I like Hearthstone. He's like, hell yeah. And I'm like just r rattling off again, like, oh, we're, we're, we're instantly biffies. Yeah. <laughs> but then the funniest thing though, when he we traded information, right? God, I honestly don't have that many friends out out here. Most of my friends have moved away, you know, and 
and uh, mar- got got uh, settled in, married, you know, and they're boring now. Uh, so it was just, to me, it was exciting to to make a new friend, especially in a new town I've never been to. But dude, this is the best part. So I write down my information. And he's like, Yokozuna, that sounds familiar. And I'm like, mm, I don't know if it, if it's porn. I swear it wasn't me. You know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> my face is hidden. I'm good. <laughs> you know, but uh, he, so he goes. That name sounds familiar. And I thought he was just pulling, you know, shit out of his ass. And then next thing you know, he goes, Wait a minute. Who's your Who's your main on League of Legends? And I'm like, Well, it depends. Uh, for a while it was Zyra until they nerfed the crap out of her and made her almost completely unplayable. And then, uh, but I you know, her in a pro match today. So. No, she's still legit. But she's not what she used to be. I think the nerf was unnecessary. But anyway, we're not gonna get back into that. But uh, but I said, you know, we are. We're so then I, into it. So, then I, so he goes, wait, Timo, and I'm like, yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites. And we and we had this conversation last week. How much I love Timo, and you, you were shaking your head. And he goes, yeah, you were playing against. I remember it, I watched. I was watching the uh, you on Twitch. You were playing against this guy. There was a diamond tier, and he was trolling the crap out of you. He called you a newbie and was, like, making fun of your mom and all this other stuff. And you were, like, just laughing and y- yucking it up. And you destroyed him. And I'm like, wow, someone actually watched that video. I, I felt like, <laughs> I think, ooh, celeb status. Watch out now. People are actually watching my crappy videos. Woohoo! So I was excited about that. But, uh... Then other than that, you know, after coming back from the trip, it, the reason I hate uh, traveling... And the whole notion of vacations, because you always need a vacation from the vacation, because when you come back, it's just like tons of catch-up and all this stuff going on, and it's like, oh, I already need another break. You gotta have a, for every three days, you got to have a week to catch up afterwards. <laughs> yeah, dude, so that's where I'm at, and, you know, between the stuff we're doing for horseplay and for the Geeky Antics uh, Network and all the other stuff going on, which we're going to have some news. I got some other stuff uh, that they're like, cooking up for the for the, the podcast over the network, but... uh. The other thing is, uh, a client brought in um, this most the most evil computer, you know. And I still do IT work here and there just to you know make ends meet, you know, get a little extra cash flow going. This this laptop is possessed, dude. It won't it, when you try to install something or run something. It says it says everything's corrupt and everything crashes. You get blue screens of death. I mean, like wow, people still get that. And it's and then it, it slows down for no reason. Nothing will be running, and, and all of a sudden the CPU is up at a hundred percent usage. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's been a pain in the ass to deal with. It's, it has a really nasty like root kit, and then uh, it's got a, a a browser hijacker on there and all this other stuff. And I've been like. Trying to clean it all up, get his data recovered and everything. Whew. And then the hard drive was had some corrupt sectors. Dude, it's been an eventful week. I could go on and on. But we're, we're, as far as the video game stuff, we're going to get into that. But uh, how, how's your week been, man? Dude, <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, with everything that my wife's doing with her business and just everything with with the Twitter and, and I'm just, you know, with us getting and growing so fast as like we did, I'm just... I'm not overwhelmed, but I'm just I'm excited uh, because then there's, there's so many different more possibilities that open up and we're just, yeah. Um, but uh, real life here, um, here just to let you know, I'm actually, instead of golfing uh, during the summertime, I'm actually going to continue bowling. So, sorry. I'm going to try to make it twist on Thursday. <laughs> But I'm going to try to make it to where it's not on Thursday and to where, you know, uh, I might be maybe even recording some of it just to, you know, especially if I have a good game or um, I'm going to be recording some of it for my, my personal use anyway. But um, I definitely can see me putting something like that on YouTube. <laughs> Seriously. Just uh, put thir- put uh, 12 strikes together and just call it a perfect game. Doesn't matter if I have different clothes on or not. I changed it between strikes. You, you do realize that that's why you're the yellow person on the podcast cover, right? Because you're you've become Homer Simpson. You're like all into bowling and crap. It's like don't. Oh, is that how it is? That's how it is. <laughs> Everybody heard it. All right. It's not my fault if something happens to you. I'm I'm just saying. This bowling, too. <laughs> this bowling is getting in the way of our relationship, our platonic, non-homoerotic relationship. <laughs> right, we need to move on to the next subject here. <laughs> this is getting kind of, um, I love you, buddy. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> too much for me. 
But as we are, we're, um, new. You said you had some new stuff with Horseplay. Something possibly that you want to put out right here, right now? Or are we going to wait a little bit? Yeah, I could, I could share real quick. Uh, I don't know if I really plugged it in a specific section, but uh, I think I'm going to go move ahead and getting a, a domain registered because... Uh, you know, it's a perception thing. When people see a uh, .com or a .net, it's, it, they realize that you mean business. You know, and right now, we're at geekyantics.wordpress.com. It's a beta site, but people still are like, hmm, why isn't it a .net or a .com? So I think I, I'm debating, though, whether we're going to get... Well, actually, we do have a section where it's going to come up, so we'll get more into that later. But uh, I, think, I think we're going to go with geekyantics.com or geekyantics.net. Dot net probably makes more sense because we're a network in dot yes, net. I, I vote for dot net. Yeah, I think so too. But the other thing that's going to come with that is uh, having like an official email address too. Uh, but that's going to be for preferred people because the you know the Gmail you know geekyantics at gmail dot com will promote that left and right. But eventually it's going to get spammed like crazy. So we're going to need something else separate. <laughs> so. So there's that, um, and also, I, I I forgot completely about you know even though Zoom is kind of pretty much dead, Microsoft still has like their music store thingy, whatever they call it on the Xbox and the Windows Phone, you know the, the Windows Marketplace, whatever they're calling it these days. And there's a section there for podcasts. And I know there's people that have Windows phones, and I know there's people that have um, Xboxes. So I'm like, derp. Why haven't I submitted us to uh, to the podcast directory? And it, there's been a, it's been a confusion because there's usually a, there's a contact that I have over there, Robert Greeno, that he's, usually he, he's the guy you email to get on listed on that uh, marketplace. But now they have a new thing set up, so I need to look into that. And uh, I just got the details. I think I could I could get it done soon. So stay tuned for that. Then we'll we'll have every platform covered. And McMuffin says, please turn up your mic. Really? Is it really that soft? See, I don't know. Well, I, I can see it in the in the in the Skype thing, but I, I mean, I'll turn it up here a little bit. Let's see how it sounds. You sound good to me, but you know, the well, in interwebs you are know crazy. How it is sometimes if it's not good to you, if it's good to you, it sucks for everybody else. You, you get that all the time. I just hope we get it finally to a point where it's like we're completely balanced. <laughs> I, dude. It will, because I'm gonna have a professional studio. I'm telling, and I'm telling everybody that right now, watching this <laughs> play and listening in the future, Obi One X Two will have a professional studio. Bet you that. And a secretary named Felicity. And a secretary no named Yogi Zilla. And yes, he has to wear skirts. Okay, I'll have. Oh, he does. I'll. I'll have the. <laughs> no. I'll have the. I'll have the executive assistant named Felicity. And uh, if you guys stay tuned, that, that reference will make more sense later. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. Yes. Yeah, I'm tracking here. I am tracking. You're tracking right, good. Turn it up just a little bit, guys. Uh, how is that? Is that a little bit better for everybody? It's, just it's, right. it's softer than Yogi. I might have it too quiet or too loud. I don't get it. I'm crazy. I don't know either, dude. Because <laughs> every time everybody, every time somebody says turn Yogi up, I just turn you up on my end because you're either, you know, I either got you, you know, to where it's balanced and everything. So, but anyway, um, looks like there's nobody actually uh, uh, say anything. So I guess we're just gonna continue on with it, yo. So yeah. So for everyone that's just tuning in, new to the show, uh, whether you're coming to us live. Or on, a on one of our recordings through whatever platform you choose, uh, make sure you join us. Uh, we do invite you to join us live first, first and foremost at 11 p.m. Eastern um, on the Twitch channels Obi One X Two. That's for the full HD experience, and on my channel Yogizilla on Twitch. Uh, that's Twitch.tv forward slash Obi One X Two or forward slash Yogizilla, and uh, that's the, that's just for the full effect. Make sure you join us live. Um, we also hang out. We also <laughs> we also hang out on allgames.com, uh, the allgames.com chat chat channel on irc.gamesurge.net. Yes, people still use the IRC, so come join us there too. And uh, let them know that the guys at Horseplay sent you. 
uh, we, we have a few friends over there. I just want to give some quick sh shout outs uh, to our new friend, uh, Goog, the Goog Reborn, uh, from po the party chat. We might be collaborating with them soon enough. And they might join our network, Geeky Antics. So stay tuned for that. Tim Curtis Jr., SG, Br Bridget B., Norma Late, Sean Freeman, Matt Bradford, There's Chips. <laughs> I thought Freeman was the pimp daddy. You said Freeman. You said Sean Freeman. I said pimp daddy. Then you said Matt Bradford. Then I was going to go, Matto! Yeah. No, you're supposed to say mo Moto. That's what you usually yeah, say. I, that's what I was going to say, and that's what I had in my head. Hello, but Moto. I was trying not to say it wrong. <laughs> because I said it wrong for two weeks in a row, remember? Yep. Oh, that's all right. I, I, I used to do a podcast with a guy named, uh, with my friend, uh, uh, James St. John, and everybody kept calling him John on the show. Like, anytime we had a guest, they like, so John! And I'm like, I don't know, it's James. <laughs> it was like Awkward City. Anyway, more shout outs. <laughs> Chipsella. You know, we had him last week, and uh, hopefully he'll be joining us more often. Fred Rojas, Dark oh. Risings, King, King Dean. And by the way, these guys are my fellow clan, clan mates over at uh, Nipples of Fate. Whoop, whoop. Asmodeus, who hopefully should be joining us soon. And again, all our friends over at uh, the allgames.com website and chat community extraordinaire. Obi? Go ahead, say the next le say the next one right here. And yes, we appreciate all the support, guys. Don't forget to tweet us. No, no, no. no. He, he didn't say it because he doesn't want to plug it too much. Well, I was to say our friends at allgames.com and clan <laughs> nof nipples of fate is it yes okay. i said it already i that said it already clan that, no and i'm gonna say it i'm gonna plug <laughs> it right. okay what what game is it for I we play just about everything we're more of a social gaming okay. clan social so. clan of the year yeah yes. awards go to clan nof nipples of fate if you guys want to do kind of get into a gaming community as a whole, lots of different games. You guys can check out that Nipples of Fate. I uh, don't know if you guys have. Do they have a website or anything that we can uh, we can hit up there? Yes, it's uh, n o f dot com. Nipples of Fate. You guys heard it. N o f dot com. You guys go check them out. If you guys want a gaming community. And I'm going to say it because I did it for Yogi, so I'm going to do it for myself. You guys do play Arma 2? <laughs> I knew it. I knew there was a, there was a hidden problem. Agenda. Hidden agenda here. Hidden agenda. There is a hidden. I'm sorry. You have one too. Leave me alone. You guys can check down. If you guys do play Arma 2, uh, you guys can check out my clan, 21st Ranger Regiment. Um, and you guys can just go to the 21st uh, Engine.com and uh, just give us a vote if you guys like how our website looks or even if you want to join. So anyway, getting on with it. We do appreciate all the support that everybody's given us with their tweets, with their, you know, the voicemails. Guys, if you guys do want to leave a voicemail, 206-415-4987, 206-415-4987. You guys can't leave us a voicemail. We will play it on on the show right here. Um, we have quite a few of them here a little bit later. But we just want to make sure that we, we tell you guys that we do appreciate each and every one of you that are listening every week and even the guys that are here live uh, you guys make the show really really fun and really really interesting uh aka last week so uh for those that were here last week you guys know it's going down so uh but don't forget us to tweet us at ob1x2 on twitter and at yogizilla also um and uh feel free to join our main hub right here on the ob1x2 channel um in in our twitch chat because you guys got it. If you're going to join our Twitch chat, I'm going to let you know right now. you got to be thick-skinned. Because <laughs> some of our viewers are... <laughs> but it's pretty tame. It's pretty tame. It's pretty tame tonight, though. Yeah, tonight, so far. we still got two hours of the show to do. Yeah, there, there's so, still plenty of time for people to request uh, bestiality. Well... Like, we're not turning into that show kind of show. <laughs> I know. We, people do keyword searches. They're like, hmm, horses? But Horse play? Saving the best for last, of course. Yogi, if you'll point straight up in the air for me, please. Geeky Antics Network Global. Right above Yogi's head here on the stream. It's our network, guys. This is what we are striving to do and, and build. You guys want to join, uh, just go on to... Geeky Antics at, uh, and uh, give us an email at Geeky Antics 
at gmail.com while I can't even talk right. And uh, we'll respond as soon as we can, of course, the voicemail. Uh, there's, so, there's so many ways that you guys can get a hold of us, I mean, even not even when we're in the show. You guys can get a hold of us. And um, believe me, if we don't answer right away, we're not ignoring you. But we promise. <laughs> we got so many things that happens every day and just overloads us sometimes. So we will, we will get back to that, and we will make sure that we answer you guys in a timely fashion. Or try to, anyway. And, I, and when I mean we, I mean Yogi. <laughs> Ski replies. To, I mean, I put some stuff on there, um, which we'll be talking about here in a little while. But um, I only do a lot of posts. He's the he's the he's the big dog on campus. So, and Yogi, I do want to say that I that uh, I appreciate you too, man. <laughs> I, I, well, I appreciate I, it too, buddy. Know, by everything, because I mean, you do do a lot. And I'm telling you right now, guys, if he wasn't with with me, we, this show probably wouldn't be as good as it is. So, uh, but that being said, let's get into it, man. Um, well, I did want to respond to uh, a good point that uh, Tim Curtis Jr. made, and he he's the social media maven over at uh, allgames.com. And, you know, as you know, Obi, I do uh, marketing, consulting, business consulting, all kinds of different things to, you know, work from home and keep the bills paid and the lights on. <laughs> and one of the biggest things I do is uh, community building and social media strategy. And... Um, you know, as we're building out the Geeky Antics uh, network, you know, it would be cool to have a horseplay uh, account on Twitter. But I think uh, what I, the more I, we go through it, the more it makes more sense to have, uh, geek, you know, one account. And if we get shows that want to do their own uh, social media promotion, they can. But, you know, we can just focus on our personal accounts and build up our personal audiences, our personal brands. And then, on you know, have one branded account, Geeky Antics, where we could plug... All our favorite shows, our ex our own flagship content, our exclusive content, and of course all our fans and supporter, and you know just use that, you know, because the worst thing to do is like, you know, we have plans to like do several other shows within the next few weeks or months, right? So if we create a, a Twitter account for each of those, and then there's only like two or three tweets going out each week, that's no fun. So we want to have like, you know, right now on the Gee Antics uh, stream, we, we've already had like hundreds of tweets and a lot of good stuff like, you know, deals for, for technology, you know, gaming, you know, household appliances, all kind of random stuff, you know, that's gaming cool. news. Dude, we got a lot of crazy stuff on there. So Whoever put the washer and dryer on there, uh, thank you very much. I'm serious. I saw a Get this washer and dryer. Dude. <laughs> You're going to put stuff like on there. I like that on there. Put gaming stuff or computer equipment. If it's washer and dryer. But anyway, we, yeah. Go ahead, Yogi. I, I had to throw in that in right there. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, it, I, you know it's... Uh, that's the other... Uh, we don't talk about it enough about the social media and technology... Like the business side of it, and that, that's another part of that. I, I consider that stuff pretty geeky. Like social media in itself, you know, it's interesting. Like, you know, the the only way you can manage so many different accounts is if you use something like Hootsuite. And even then, like, there's always going to be an account that uh, gets neglected. So I'm like, well, I'd rather just consolidate our resources as much as possible. You know, eventually we'll probably have a Twitch channel for geeky antics. You know, but um, maybe even a YouTube channel. You know that's in the plans, but I like to. Br I think the best thing is to grow organically, especially when you're just getting started. Focus on the the basics first and perfect that before you just, like do all these different things and then bring yourself out. And you know we have the Facebook page. I think that at, at this point having a Facebook page makes sense because some things I rather share to my personal um, page, my personal stream, or onto the Geeky Antics page. You know, and. You know, it's Geeky Ants is going to be a vehicle for everybody that wants to get started in doing podcasts or video shows or blogging, whatever, or people that are already established and just want another network to syndicate their content with. So, you know, good catch there, Tim, because that, that's, that's, trust me, that's been something I've been uh, wrestling with for a while. I just, at the point I'm at, you know, you know, we, we, we already have a team, but everybody else has other things going on, other day jobs, other priorities, you know, and it's a lot of stuff to juggle. I want to keep it as simple as possible. Plus, Obi's too busy bowling and uh, playing Arma 2 to, you know. I got something to say about this past week again. I forgot. Okay. Lay it on me. I went, on, I went to my first bowling tournament on Saturday. Okay. And, <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> but I, got <laughs> second... I like the dramatic effect. 
I'm like, okay, is there a punch of light here? <laughs> and I got my second bowling tournament this Saturday. First one, no, I did okay. It was, uh, you know, just a you know, your scratch plus your handicap, you know, wins high. And I did okay. I average 200s, a little bit higher. Uh, but I have eight games on Saturday. And it's, uh, yeah, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> because my arm, my whole right side of my body after playing six games in a week was freaking numb, and I'm getting ready to play 11. So, yeah. Anyway, but that's, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Next week, if I come in with a freaking arm sling and shit, you know what, I, you know what happened. <laughs> okay. Yep, Obi threw out his arm. Good job, Obi, dumbass. You know, it's all good. I'm just going to... Just gonna nod my head. <laughs> Nodding my head. See, the thing is, is with nodding your head, it doesn't make any noise. So when I go, and then there's nothing, you just like, oh, oops, uh, yeah, my turn to talk. Okay, sorry. <laughs> go, dude. Well, you know, another thing I want to say in the chat, you know, Tim's getting me wanting to talk more about more serious stuff, and I, and I'm thinking. We might have a little, like, uh, a themed show where we'll get into some more, like, business side of gaming and technology and social media, marketing, all that kind of stuff. Because uh, it's pretty neat. Like, I know a lot of people are have, a, almost everybody dreams of working for themselves. So, you know, it'd be cool just to, like, talk to our fellow geeks and, and, and share a perspective. Like, this is what's involved. This is what you have to be ready to do, you know, and, and how you could, what, what kind of revenue models you could look at. You know, that'd be, that'd be a, good ep a good episode for us to have. and we, Maybe we get Tim Tim with us, and we'll talk shop. I know uh, Fred Rojas over from uh, over at uh, Gaming History 101, he's into the marketing stuff as well. And, it's, it's you know, even if you're not into that, the business side of stuff so much, it's pretty interesting because all these things have, like, game mechanics in them. And we don't realize it, you know. It, mm -hmm. See, I'm going to go off on a tangent. But anyway, hey, Obi. What on the street? Yeah. What on the street is that we have a, a, a voicemail line people could call us on? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I, I plugged this a little bit ago, but anyway, you can leave us a voicemail <laughs> any time of the week. We always listen to them um, at two zero six four one five. It's right above my head. Four nine eight seven. I broke that up, so I'm gonna say it again just for everybody's benefit. Two zero six four one five. Four nine eight seven. If you guys are watching it live, it's right above my head. If you're listening, give us a voicemail, and we're gonna play it um, in the show. I know I left two voicemails this week, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna embarrass me with the first one. And then my son actually called. <laughs> yes, we we actually called uh, horseplay, and uh, I got some exciting news, and we'll wait till that's played before I uh, before I uh, dwell on what what I said. So. Mm -hmm. Yogi, have you left any voicemails that you're going to be playing tonight for yourself? Or am I the only one getting... You know, I think I did leave something, but we're going to do a complete blind play. So I don't know what's going to play when I play those voicemails. So I was going to listen to them and I said, you know what? I saw them coming in. I get email notifications and text messages. And I was like, you know what? We're going to have a complete live experience. We're going to go gonzo on this and just play them live and be like, bow. Okay, I'm going to go bio through the whole voicemails, okay? <laughs> but anyway, for for those that are a bit shy, or, or maybe you, you don't like the way your voice sounds. I mean, I don't think anybody really likes the way the voice sounds like, unless you get used to it. But I, uh, oh yeah, stroke me the right way. I like the way you touch my keys. That's the way a keyboard. My keyboard says that to me. It has a voice module. Yeah. But anyway, our email is geekyantics at uh, gmail dot com. And, uh, yeah, we'll respond to your messages. We're going to try to do, like, uh, you know, what we'll do is switch it up. If we don't have that much voicemail, uh, we'll do some um, a little mailbag, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, talk about the stuff free uh, during the show. But, of course, we're going to try to split a segment of the show a little bit so that we have more time to do that. Uh, more more interactive stuff and have call-ins and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Keep rolling. No, I'm like I'm like clustered right now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're not even gonna keep going. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna look at chat and you just keep talking. Let me know when you want me to talk. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So before we jump into the obligatory news, uh, this is our usual segment where we uh, have guests come in 
uh, for interviews and uh, roundtable discussions is uh, Man Crushes and Geek Girls. And uh, if you have a suggestion for people, you know, your favorite Man Crushes or Geek Girls, uh, contact us via Twitter, which we shared earlier, or the official gang website, which uh, right now is geekyantics.wordpress.com, and in the future might be geekyantics.net or geekyantics.com, or both, who knows? We'll see. Maybe you guys can uh, leave us voicemail and let us know which one you prefer, uh, which one has a nice, nice ring to it. And uh, yeah, we love we love to have you. We, we will be doing more call-ins, so make sure you add our horseplay uh, live account. Uh, you can use the email address we provided, uh, geekyantics at gmail dot com, to add us on Skype and then uh, call in during our during our little uh, segment for it. Obi, you if you something? are a guy <laughs> and you call in because you have a man crush on Obi, me. It's okay. I accept. <laughs> That's all I can say. If you're calling in because you have a man crush on me, it's okay. I you know, not, we will not tell you who who you are. We won't say it online. Yeah, we can't we can't be that wouldn't be that, that that's cool, but then we can't be a guest on our own show. <laughs> like unless we change our voices like, you know, today we have I can. I can. What? For the whole show. You you would like that a little bit too much. <laughs> you want a boy? It'll be fun. Oh lord, here we go again. <laughs> so just a little preview of what we're gonna do to try to blow through everything real quick. Uh, we're gonna try to we we got a, quite a bit of news, and we're gonna do some quick updates to uh, previous discussions, and then we are going to have a couple of features discussions and um uh, some deals for cheap bastards. That's kind of the, and then hopefully we'll have enough time for call-ins. How's this sound? You ready? You got you got the Terminator shades on. <laughs> I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's move it. All right. So let's. Uh... Obi, I think you should take the news this time. Wait, no. You look like you want to take the news. No, I can't read, man. Why not? I I never learned in 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 second grade. <laughs> you bastard. You thought I was reading it earlier. I would. I just memorized it. So uh, it put it to memory. You had the the teleprompter. <laughs> no, not really. Because if I, if I had a teleprompter, it wouldn't be because I couldn't read. I I, I guess so. The blizzard. The blizzard continues. This is your obligatory news. Hearthstone is now in its fourth and final test session. Guys, there are three days left. Blizzard, Blizzard has confirmed that they do not exact expect any more balancing issues in general uh, consensus in Hearthstone is the most balanced it's ever been since the beta test. If you guys have ever played this game, if you played it in beta test, you guys know that, I mean, it was really unbalanced. Like a warrior would just demolish a rogue because of the... the, the the shields that it has, because the rogue really didn't have anything except until, I mean, until you had your full mana bar. I mean, you just couldn't really do anything. So uh, hopefully it's going to be actually, you know, it, it is getting fixed. Um, my wife and Yogi, uh, they've both been playing it pretty hardcore. And I've been getting on it. I got on it a couple of times and improving a couple of my decks. But you gotta you got to watch yourself. But it's, it's a pretty fun game, so you guys need to get it anyway. This makes us believe that new tournament formats and gameplay options uh, will be coming out next. Hopefully, they'll be coming out with some, maybe some three v three, you know, or, you know, two v two kind of, you know, card play to where you can attack either one kind of thing would be kind of cool. I don't know, Yogi, what do you think? Um, I I would like to see the and, and none of the, none of the TCGs that are online right now do this very well. I'd like to see more structured tournaments where you can limit what kind of cards people play with and and just. You know, be able to have more control over the meta because you know, with every with all these uh, deck building games, when it, what ends up happening is that once they release certain legendaries or epics, you see a lot of people running the same kind of decks, and even after, and then if you know, they might tweak it and nerf certain cards, but then people just find new ways of breaking the game. So if you could make it so that people actually have to think and and build something new rather than just going to someone's stream or YouTube video and copying their deck. You know, it'd be more, it'd be a level playing field for people that maybe haven't had as much time to grind out and get all the cards they want, like me, or, or people that aren't, that uh, don't want to spend a lot of money to get there, like me. So, 
So something like a like a kind of like a pick and ban kind of phase, maybe to the game, to where they can ban certain cards, maybe. Yeah, that, that they could do that. Like you're talking, and then basically they have like 10, 15 seconds to pick the re cards that were banned or whatever if they have them in their deck. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think arena is definitely something that's fun uh, because yeah. you know it, 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 you got to think on your feet and they just you know work with whatever scraps they give you and find a way to make a deck that synergizes somehow from with cards that normally you don't see together. And I always think that's good, but I think in a tournament perspective, if you're going to pay to buy into a tournament, you want to have some shot at it. It shouldn't just, it shouldn't be a matter of, Fuck well, the deck. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like if someone has more cards than you, better cards than you, they sh it shouldn't be a default win for them. Right, right. Well, and, and that being said with, with, uh, if they have any new tournament formats or any kind of, any kind of extra game options, um, a lot of people think it's miles down the road, but you guys, in the ISO version of the game, it's a lot closer than people think with the different formatting and the different kind of games that they can um, add into there and you know, just make it interesting and, and, and fun. So, I mean, I think it's going to be cool. I, I can't wait for it. I'd like to uh, say that the, the converted spectator mode and perhaps the in, de in detail in-game Match stats are likely going to be released at the same time, so you guys stay tuned for that. Um, be able to actually spectate somebody that's actually playing like in game, so it'd be kind of like almost like League of Legends. Uh, see, look at we're coming back to League of Legends again. It always comes back to League of Legends. I'm blaming you. <laughs> I'm blaming this one. This, last time it was on me. It's on you this time. <laughs> <laughs> You guys do remember that. You guys heard it right here on Horseplay. Titanfall for Xbox. Oh, and I wanted to say one one quick thing. Remember originally we I had said that maybe the as soon as the first week of April. Well, I heard that the iPad version might be a little bit delayed because uh, I, I still think I still stand by this going to come out in April. But I I hear that there's a convention in the within the first couple of weeks of April. I think on uh, April 11th. They're gonna have a convention, and the big one of the big draws is that you, you get to play the Hearth the Hearthstone app on the iPad at the event. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm saying, why would that be a, a big draw if it, if it was already released? So I think somewhere mid April, and I said before, just in time for my birthday, which is on on the 19th. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I think that's a good prediction right there. But uh. <laughs> Stan, Stan is giving me a hard time in, in the chat. He says, real men smoke real cigarettes. I do not smoke indoors, unfortunately, though. And I don't want the... It's terrible the, for your computer. It's terrible for your computer, and it makes the walls yellow, and, you know, I have pets and kids, so... They're green. And this is vapor. It doesn't hurt anybody. So... And it's flavorful. Right, right now, I, I have uh, a proverbial cornucopia of flavor in here. Coconut, butter rum, and... Uh, what did I say before? Caramel macchiato, but more coconut than anything else. I know it's a little fruity. Shut up. Fruity for fruity. So I'll take the rest of the news. Now you're now you're <laughs> puffing. So Titanfall oh, for uh. Good. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I, I, thought, I thought you were, it was your turn to talk. <laughs> Go ahead. Read it out. So yeah, Titanfall for the Xbox 360. Uh, it's gonna be delayed. Oh, well, it's officially delayed. Uh, from uh, March 25th to. April 8th, uh, and the sneak peek uh, has revealed that this, this this version may actually be more stable at, and at a higher resolution than the Xbox One version, and it's sparked on it's it's rekindled the stupid the, the you know debates between the Sony fanboys and the Xbox fanboys, you know about oh resolution and frame rate and which you know the PS4 has a stronger pro graphics process and blah blah blah. It's like ooh, you know the, the people they, they're like well if people buy this on a 360 not on the Xbox One it just proves that the, X, the the Microsoft fanboys they're hypocrites you know they do care about graphics no it just means that they don't feel like dropping you know four or five hundred dollars on a system just yet just just for a couple of games that are coming out you know so that's all that's, that's the only thing it proves it'll be down half price <laughs> maybe not two months but six months definitely Come on. yeah and and actually uh speaking of the xbox ones do stay tuned because we have seen a lot of bundles 
and deals on the Xbox One. And we'll talk about some of the places you could go and some of the things you could do to make sure you don't miss out on them. Because I've been getting updates like, you know, daily in my email and my uh, Twitter and text messages. I mean, there's a there there. I think Microsoft is really gonna go more aggressive with this and uh, really try to get, get their install rate up. So, you know, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do delay the Titanfall for Xbox 360 a little more, so that they could. Uh, Try to milk that the Xbox One sale some more because some you know a few people were saying I think it was Chip Sella uh, over the B team who we had last week as I mentioned before he was saying that there's no coincidence that the moment that Titanfall dropped for the Xbox One their uh, sales more than doubled or something crazy like that so they're definitely gonna try to milk that a little bit longer to get people to finally switch over but I don't think Titanfall alone is gonna be a reason to switch to upgrade right now. That's just me. I mean, I like the Xbox One, but yeah, it's just it's you know this. That's just stupid. If you're gonna do yeah. it for one or two games, yes, I. It's not just one or two games. I mean, granted, there's the uh, isn't soccer out with it? Xbox One. Uh, you got uh, a lot of the Madden sports games and stuff are out, out with it. So I mean, there's not just like one or two games, but still, it's like, is it really worth? Five hundred dollars plus sixty to sixty-five dollars per game. You can wait six months and it'll be three hundred dollars and fifty dollars a game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Common sense. Plus, right now, I think is the best time to be uh, Xbox 360 gamer, just because, or, or a PS3 gamer, whichever one you prefer. But because now, you know, since it's, it's considered last gen, you're gonna get way better deals. You know, because that's what happens. You know, for, and I think it's going to be like that for the next two or th- maybe two or three years. It's still going to be that transition, you know, unless they finally say, F it. We want people to, we're going to force people to switch over. We're going to cut complete support, or, you know, off on those systems, which could happen. Uh, but I think Microsoft has learned a lesson on that, at least. Uh, when they did that, they, they did that hard, that hard shutdown on the original Xbox. <laughs> that was brutal. Some more Titanfall stuff. Uh, Titanfall uh, now is placing cheaters in rogue servers, which is I think is a really cool idea. You know, they they identified it a lot of people, especially on the PC version, were running all kinds of mods and um, cheats to do stupid things like have infinite life or extended life or whatever, and the usual stupid stuff. So uh, it just makes me wonder why don't why don't we see this more often? Like. If the cheaters want to cheat, okay, no problem. We're not going to ban you. Just play with each other. You can play with all the other cheaters and see how dumb it is when everybody's cheating. Like, imagine there's a bunch of, like, cheaters that have God mode on and then no, no one dies. It's like, that's how that's how you make the game for everyone else. So, enjoy. <laughs> I think it's great. Damn noobs. For real. So, uh... I forgot who was... There was there's been a few people that have been looking forward uh, to this system... But um, I think it was Opti uh, over at All Games that was like, you know, uh, plugging this. And it, you know, he's he's really big on the Retron Five, and it's and that system has seen uh, many delays. But supposedly, it's gonna really, uh, you know, really, really release in April as well. So April's gonna be a pretty big month. Uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath, but it'd be pretty neat because the Retron Five will play any of the NES cartridges. Super NES, Genesis, um, and Game Boy, and Game Boy Color, as well as their Japanese counterparts, uh, their overseas counterparts, so you can play all the imports and uh, U.S. releases. That's pretty neat. Um, and then we were talking about this, Obi, that you know we, we would like to have uh, some retro-themed shows. You know, having something like this would be cool. Like just pop it in and then uh, stream it, and and then be like, "Ooh, today we're gonna do Let's Play on this." Blah blah blah. Well, I don't know about Let's Plays, but you know. It'd be a ni- nice little thing to do. Switch well, it up. When, when the and, and this is something that I've been talking about and telling everybody that when the the price of the Xbox One goes does go down, you will see Obi on it and you will see me streaming on it. Um, yes, is it? Uh, do I want to stream on computer? Do I want to stream all these games that I'm playing, all the high graphics and all? I definitely do. Do I have the computer for it? Definitely not. So if I can get a console, what were we talking about last week? You know, it's it's there. It's just plug and play. That's what I want. 
set your you know set my twitch up and you guys you guys will see it everybody that watches i will definitely play a bunch of different games especially with you know i'll get titanfall just to play it through one time <laughs> I mean, if I have to, jeez. I know, don't twist your arm there. But, uh, see, I wonder if... I wonder if uh, that's going to be a game that people are going to keep coming back to or keep playing like they do with the Call of Duty games. Or if it's just the flavor of the, of the month kind of thing. And, it, you know, a couple months from now, it'll be like it'll, it'll be like State of Decay. Remember State of Decay? Everybody was talking about that game. It was like, oh, my God, this game is awesome. And after, right. like, the first couple of months, it's like you never heard anybody talking about it. You never saw anybody playing it. It's like, okay. You know, I kind of feel like Titanfall might be that. It's it's gr it's doing well because that's all there is right now in that ecosystem. But when people when other things come out for people to compare it against, they're gonna be like, oh, you know what? This this isn't as good as I thought it was. I don't know. Well, and and what I think with that is, if it, it's a game where you can get into, I mean, you're basically getting into a mech, really. Uh, if anybody's ever played Mech Warrior Online, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like. <laughs> no, it's just funny you say that because it, it's, it's true. Like, I mean, it's just like that, but the the graphics are better, the the movements are better, everything is just is just better. Yeah, I don't want to explain it, guys, until I can get it and, and start streaming it. But I mean, it, once you guys do see it, I and mean, if you guys have seen any trailers, watch them again and just look at the little things, um, the way somebody's face is shaped. I mean, they got it down to damn near a T. Where they can make anything, anybody look like anybody. Uh, and really, I mean, yes, it's not been that far off, but that is some some magic for people to be able to do kind of things like that. But yes, I'm I'm one of the older guys, and I'm really not old. I'm I'm younger than Yogi over there <laughs> with his what Thanks. twenty kids. Anyway, more or less. Um, more or less. But it's you know, and I and I'm not the the the. And I'm not saying I'm stupid. By any means, <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. But I'm not, you know. I I love to get on here and play and stream and just do all that other stuff. But when it comes down to, hey, Obi, how do you do this? I don't know. Uh, can you tell me? I mean, I have multiple times where I have people get on my computer with TeamViewer <laughs> just so they can do it themselves because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, that's it. Got any Marvel news? Uh, well, yeah, also, if you want to find out more about the Retron 5 and you're, like, you're into the old school gaming, uh, go to Retron5.com and there's more details on it there. Uh, so, more, so some more of a news, sort of. Um, Hugh Jackman is set to return for the third solo Wolverine movie, and there's a new writer in, the, in, in the, on it as well. <laughs> Boring. I love Hugh Jackman. He's an excellent Wolverine, but... No, he's a good, he's a good actor, but... God, Wolverine's getting played out. Make something with somebody else. A different X-Men or a different mutant. Do it. Come on. Who cares about Wolverine? He's got fucking metal claws. Who cares? <laughs> Jeez. We might have... I'm sorry. Breach against Obi right now. Well, you know, this is kind of... We touched upon this uh, with, with Chip Sella on the show in episode uh, 14. How uh, the reason these Marvel movies don't have the same kind of magic as uh, Avengers and Captain America and Thor is because, yeah, the owners, it's, uh, it's Sony and Fox, you know, bastardizing the series. They have, this, they have some good points, some good parts, but, you know, they definitely don't have the mojo to keep them running. And, and they're just milking it at this point. It's kind of sad. But anyway... Um, what else is there? So, oh yeah. Uh, also, Tiger Claw over at All Games, uh, our unofficial sister network, uh, shared this you know, about uh, the new X-Men movie. <laughs> it's uh, X-Men Days of Future Past, and the trailer is available on YouTube if you want to check it out. I honestly did not look at it because I was very disappointed by the last one, and I don't want to get my hopes up. Will I watch it? Sure. Will I own it more than likely just because i love marvel so much but that last uh, x-men movie was like they try to uh, i don't know they try to rush the plot so much that i don't know it felt like they just threw it through they put it through a blender and then what came out was just mush but anywho uh we would play the the video <laughs> 
But uh, YouTube's three, three strike rule is scary, and we already got dinged. So no trailers during the show. Can we do uh, try to promote via YouTube? And Google is kind of anal retentive. Um, also, okay, so so Stan has been phoning me at the mouth to, to get join us. I think we're probably gonna have him. Uh, he's probably gonna, gonna end up calling in. I know he, he left us a voicemail, uh, and the topic he wants to talk about is uh, realism and immersion in games and stuff like that. Um, which actually is going to be, he, he read my mind because it's going to be one of the upcoming um, show concepts. Talk, you know, we're going to have a show that's going to focus, like a dedicated show that's going to focus on, you know, game design, game theory, and like the nitty gritty of gaming, strategy, stuff like that. More like hardcore sides, not so much the reviews and uh, news aspects, which is all fun and dandy, but you know. But, um. Looking at this right now, I want to say something real quick. Stan, what I want you to do is I want you to go to Geeky Antics, um, the, our, our, our gang website, and I want you to go and look under uh, uh, Realism. It's, a, it's a something I started. I want you guys to go look at that. If you, I want you to answer that. Answer some of those questions on there and uh, so I can see what you think, and I'll, I'll bring it up next week uh, when, you, uh, when you reply to that. Yes. There's a Realism post on there that... Um, We'll get into it here in a minute. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's right. We were, we were t- just talking about that earlier this week, mm-hmm. and uh, so the, the I think that's a, a topic that uh, intrigues a lot of people. It's just funny. I think a lot of a lot of gamers have their head on that. And, you know, it's realism from the perspective of immersion, and also from the perspective of innovation, and and, and then getting tackling that that one stumbling block is like, do we have to have violence? You know, all the time, and you know, there's no doubt that as human beings, we have like uh, uh, a very visceral kind of um, urge to, you know, to do crazy stuff sometimes. But some of us have more restraint restraint than others. Uh, they, they talked about this over at R9 Cast, so if you're interested in that, they they had some good conversation. Uh, SG and uh, his wife uh, Bridget B. So definitely make sure you listen to one of the more recent episodes. I think it's the one that's that's titled "The Planet Is Alive." But anyway. This major bit of news, back to the news, is is in from our friend and media correspondent, Stan Farina. <clears throat> the crowd goes wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so Playdom, who I, the, a company that I believe uh, is owned by Disney, not if I have my facts straight, uh, they're shutting down their, uh, their website. And I, and I thought originally it was just their standalone games, but apparently their Facebook games getting shut down. And I know, and it's this actually hit home for me, because my better half she was pissed off because one of the games she plays a lot of uh, goes to goes to Miss Wood, they're shutting that down. But apparently it's a, it's not just that game; it's everything, which is weird. I mean, they have Disney back if they have Disney backing them up, what's going on there? Um, and one of the games they're going to be shutting down is Avengers uh, Ultimate Alliance, I believe it's called. Which I'm glad I did not get into. See, and, uh, and Stan brought up a good point uh, about, you know, with th- this kind of stuff going on and the troubles that Zynga has had, and a lot of the companies that have, you know, come have came to the scene and then gone just as fast. Um, you know, it, it, are social games still viable? And that's that could be a whole other discussion, Obi. Right. No, go ahead. Oh, I look like you're, you got you look like you were creeping close to the to the microphone to like yeah. put in a I'm comment. Getting, I'm getting yelled at right now in chat, so I gotta engage. I gotta I gotta save you things in the chat box because I'm doing like 16 other things at once. So sorry, Kurt. I'll I'll get in there right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, and Stan Stan corrected me. It's called Marvel's Avengers Alliance, not Ultimate Alliance. But I, I know from what I understand, uh, Stan uh, pumps. Some real money into this. I think he put like fifteen hundred dollars into the game. You know, a lot of people like get into them hardcore. I know when I p- played a lot of Rage of Bahamut, which at the time was like one of the most played mobile games. Um, I spent like I don't know. I wanted to admit this to the better half, but I probably put like three to five hundred dollars in there. And, I put, and then afterwards, I'm like, what did I just do? Not at one shot, but over the course of the whole time, because uh, you know they it's the social aspect that gets you. It's kind of like peer pressure. Like, if you play these these Facebook games or these mobile games by yourself, you could walk away from it and not feel connected. But the moment your friends get involved and you start 
competing or collaborating or both, it, 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 it makes it more sticky and feel more committed to it. And, right. you know, weird things happen. So I think the model is still sustainable. Um, I think that what happens a lot of times, these companies, they grow fast. They, they get, uh, like, a spike in, in income. And then they just keep churning out more crap and then opening new offices. They try to grow too fast and they don't, they don't make sure that it's sustainable. Um, so... My advice would be maybe someone should come along and start making different kind of games. I'm sure Facebook can handle it, and, and mobile, you can do a lot of stuff on mobile. You know, ma switch it up a little bit. You can still have the social integration, but make them less about point and click, and, you know, plant this here and wait and come back in eight hours, and they'll be fully grown. It's like, oh, guys, it's like, they, they, these games, like, I remember we used to play Tiny Tower. You know, it's like you're building all these floors, you have to come back in several hours to see you know, collect all the payments in your floor and restock your shelves and all that stuff. Like, oh my God, it's a, it's like having a job, but you're not making real money from it. It's like they, they these all these games are built so that you focus on that one game, and no one has that kind of time. And no one's that dedicated. No one's gonna play just your game. So they need to kind of like be a little more, uh, I don't know, flexible on that. But anyway, well, I'll get off the soapbox. Said, be, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on it for two seconds here. That being said. The perfect example for this kind of, you know, with the, you know, the having to spend the time and the effort and just the, like I said, just the time, the hours that you spend is World of Warcraft. Okay. Um, and I'm... Oh, that's a whole other beast. <laughs> I don't know whether, listen, I don't know whether I'm proud of this or if I'm just sick in the head, but I have over a thousand hours, not a thousand hours. Wow. I'm stupid. A thousand <laughs> days in World yeah. of Warcraft. Oh, yeah. Since beta of 2002. Oh, yeah. A thousand days played. This is just one character. This is my main. This is the guy that I, you know, he was the leveled first and all that shit, you know, after the expansion. A thousand days. It's over three years, almost three years of playtime. 15 hours a day because, like you said, I got sucked into the, oh, come on, man, we need a guild. We got to do this. We got to do that. We got to <laughs> do this. And, you know, we're, we're the best raiding guild, you know, of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the server. And, hey, we're two, number two in the world or the country. Let's keep going. Well, you think about that and you're raiding all this time and you got 15 hours played in one day and you're like, holy fuck, I got to go to work. Yeah. Oops. You know, then you just, shit happens, goes downhill. Luckily, you know, I got broken, so I don't have to. <laughs> I have to go to work anytime soon. See, the way I look at it, and I put in a simple statement. Hallelujah. Uh, I believe in gaming as a lifestyle, but I don't believe as in having a game be a lifestyle. No single game should take over your life. <laughs> if it gets that serious where that's all you think about, unless... You maybe if you play competitively, and even then, I'm like, you need to switch it up a little bit because you'll end up burning out and hating the thing that you love, and that's a bad place to be. See, MMOs. That's see, we've we've touched upon that. MMOs are a whole other uh, ball game because that's when you get into that, it's a lot more immersive. So we gotta have this conversation. We're gonna have the whole realism and immersion we'll discussion. I guarantee it. Yeah. Well. Well. We'll have it some more, and, and, and I've been cooking up some, some uh, new blog posts for the site, so the timing is, is, is ripe for sure. But anyway, moving on with the news, uh, Facebook uh, has purchased the Oculus VR for $2 billion. <laughs> and uh, I believe it was Mark Zuckerberg himself that said that this is going to pave the way for uh, innovations in how we uh, experience information and interact socially online and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, boy. You know, it, first of all, my thoughts are, okay, so I guess Apple's not the only one trying to break into gaming or Amazon or whoever else is trying to get into it, which is crazy talk. But then I, I see this, and I'm like, wow. Uh, so what's Facebook trying to do? Find more ways to shove ads in our face? You know, the next thing you're going to do is gonna it's going to be kind of like uh, the Matrix, or better yet, Remember Me. Remember, I, th I think it was Remember Me, the game where, you know, everybody's hooked into, like, this network and ads come out 
like virtual reality type thing. I mean, the plot's been done before. That whole cyberpunk thing. It's like everybody's jacked in, you know, and everything's just holographic uh, images in front of you, or you know, right projected right into your retina or in your brain. You know, all kind of crazy crap. So yeah, <laughs> Tim Curtis says no. face rift. The yeah, the, the Oculus face rift or as rape. I, I prefer. Have, have you have you have you looked up some information on the Oculus? I think it's cool, but if, if Facebook has their hand on it now, ugh. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's good. It's good, and I, I'm going to be getting one. It's uh, uh, well, a, a version of the Oculus. Um, I'm going to be getting the Track IR for you know head movements and stuff like that with multiple games, uh, to where you know my my screen will move or you know whatever will move, so I can like you know free look and all that good shit. So that's going to be awesome. <laughs> Go, keep going. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I just, I just laugh. I'm just laughing because uh, it seems like every decade we have like an attempt for VR. I mean, remember the Virtual Boy that Nintendo came out with, and there's been so many devices that try to do the full immersion through all the senses. I mean, that's uh, that stuff is great. What I want to do, I want to be able to smell stuff. You know, like I want to, so I want to be able to have something that will process smells. So I could play a cooking simulator and then smell the food and then and then get hungry and maybe have my 3D printer print me out a, a cupcake or something. And then I'll get excited about that, you know, Star Trek style, have it materialize it. What kind of paper would you use in a 3D printer to make it flavorful? I don't know. Maybe some of that. You know how how they have uh that hey, sugar. What kind of tree would you have to process into a paper? No, but dude, they got you guys that have it marzipan. Well, to mold, to like sculpt, uh, like clay, or you can have like uh, sh the, the sugar paper. You know, you ever had the paper on cake that you guys actually eat? The confectionery paper. That's not really paper. It's a sheet of of sugar, dude. Dude. So while Obi plays with his uh headset, <laughs> okay. Uh, also, Gamespot reports that uh Peter Molyneux, creator of Fable, uh, Goddess, and the classic Dungeon Keeper series. Uh, he states that uh, the indie golden age won't last. And his reasoning is that uh, it's a cycle that repeats. Much like the 80s saw plenty of variety in gaming concepts before the industry crashed and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's interesting he says that. He's always, he's always known for being uh, exaggerating how epic certain games will be. And um, making these wild predictions. I beg to differ. I think the indie gaming movement is going to keep growing just because it has to. And now that you could crowdsource anything, you could crowdsource funding, you could crowdsource influence, you could crowdsource, you know, um, all kinds of collaborative projects. You know, there's so many ways to get people involved, involve your audience, and virtually um, create a, an ecosystem within a business. You know, and with it, with ideas, that indie is just so much easier now, and it, and it's and I think it's gonna give us some fresh content that the the AAA developers can't give us because they're always playing it safe, they're always copying each other, you know, and they're just like circle jerking left and right. What the heck is the Aku Libre? <laughs> it's like Lucha Libre. No, it's so, Aku Libre. Oh, Tim says that uh. The the uh, Zuckerberg is aiming for the eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. I love that movie. It actually makes me very sad too. The whole concept of unrequited love and, and sort of All right, we're almost chasing done. the ghost. Okay, I'm sorry. He he just wanted something good. But <laughs> but anyway, another thing that that we talked about uh, earlier this week, Obi was how Major League Gaming is stepping things up and they are launching, they've launched their own competitive network, kind of on par with Twitch, um, and now the apps are coming to the Xbox One and the 360, and I don't think that they're, they're that far from providing an alternative to Twitch, um, and maybe that'd be a good thing because I think Twitch needs to step things up and make it better for the people that are creating the content, make it more attractive for them because, you know, they're, they're raking in the, the money with the ad dollars and the endorsements and all the other things they do. So I think they need to pass more of that on to the people that are busting their ads just trying to build an audience ultimately for them, you know? Well, they need to because if they don't, I'm telling you right now, and, and I'm just going to use this because of what Facebook just bought, but Facebook comes out with a, a streaming 
programs and like OBS or not OBS but uh, like Twitch to where it can be broadcasted too that's better and it gives back more to the streamers or does whatever I'm guaranteeing you that Twitch is going to lose a lot of money yeah because if those pro like the pro gamers the, the pro League of Legends players the Dota players the Starcraft players all those guys that stream and that's how they make their revenue dollars if they can get more money just for moving to a different streaming service, bye. That's straight. I mean, really. I mean, they're not gonna stay. Yeah. I wouldn't. If I can actually make money, or more money than I'm making now with streaming through, I don't know, Facebook TV. I don't know what are you gonna call it. There. There you go. Facebook hashtag Facebook TV. <laughs> There's your new streaming service. But still, I mean, it's gonna if it's gonna allow the you know the gamers and the streamers that that's how they make money, besides the little paycheck that their team gives them or something. They're gonna move quick because that means they have more money for food for just whatever they want to do. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Now see, I don't want to get deep into Pretty it. Can sure on that. See, yeah, yeah, it's getting back into the whole marketing talk and business talk, but uh. Anyway, we'll, we'll keep moving on. Uh, so, so, quick updates. So, um, we touched upon the massive news going on with uh, with Blizzard um, last week, and but in, you know, all our excitement uh, to jump into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we forgot all about the, the stuff going on with Diablo three and StarCraft two. Namely, with Diablo three, so, uh, Reaper of Souls finally dropped this week, and um, with that, they're doing some cross promotion with Hearthstone. You can get some some card packs or whatever when you get the expansion pack so that's pretty cool but they've been doing but well, one thing i have to say blizzard hasn't shown that it's changed since the ea acquisition they're still they still got that that independent kind of feel to them where they're doing a lot of they're very committed to the community they're, they're constantly tweaking the games putting out new content and make, getting everything balanced and diablo 3 like before they even released the expansion they did a lot of much needed balance changes and all kind of crazy stuff like um, for example, and they made it so that it's more rewarding to get loot, and it's no longer like everybody has the same sets of armor or whatever. Um, it actually means something because that's the biggest draw to, uh, of, of Diablo. You know, it's always been the, the loot and feeling special when you have something that a few other people have. So, really cool that they're doing that, and again, hooking us into uh, the whole uh, Hearthstone madness again, and also the StarCraft 2. You know, they've done a lot of things there to support the mod community with the arcade becoming a standalone thing that's free for anyone, even if you don't have the core game. So I think that's pretty cool. And if you want to try out uh, Blizzard Dota, that's there, and a bunch of tower defense games. You know, I have to, I have to check it out. I haven't checked out the their customs for a while, but I used to be huge on Warcraft 3. Uh, that's where I first played Dota. And... Uh, that now that they have that arcade thing, I, I think Blizzard's making all the right moves. Um, so what else we got? Da -da 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 -da. Hey, so, Yogi. It's Ryan. Oh, what's up? That is uh, the the Goog. The Goog from the uh, in-game chat. Uh, not in-game chat. The, the party chat. Sorry. From Completely different game. podcast. You know. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I've been talking a lot about Blizzard, but I also want to give some more love to Soulforge, which is an excellent alternative to Magic, you know, uh, Hearthstone, and all those other TCGs that are out there. Uh, it's been sucking me back in, and the latest features are amazing. They finally, you know, live up to their name by having a, a forging syst uh, system, a crafting system. You know, Soul Forge. You, it makes sense. You can forge stuff. You can make your own cards. So I think it, they, the way they, they they're doing it in the game is pretty cool. Um, I, I like it a lot. Uh, they've balanced it quite a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of sad because a lot of my decks have been nerfed in the process. But uh, at least now the, the matches are a lot closer than they used to be. And doo -doo 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 -doo. what else do we got? By the way, Soulforge, a lot of big changes. Oh, and they, have, they finally got the in, uh, tournaments in there. And uh, I've been winning a lot of free event tickets. So it's really cool. I... They're very generous with their daily login rewards and their victory rewards. Uh, I think them out of all the free-to-play TCGs out there, are uh, deck-building games, they're probably the most generous with that stuff. Um, but anyway, 
Last a bit of uh, last update here. Uh, IGN has confirmed that Chris Evans uh, does plan to quit acting, not just as the Captain America. No, no, no. He plans to quit acting. Period. Yeah. I, and, and honestly, I can't say I'm too broken up about it. Doing, is that why he didn't do the third one or the the new one? He's gonna be on 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 the wait, Winter Soldier. Different. Wait. Never mind. <laughs> No, no, yeah, we talked about this in, in episode 14, which, by the way, you guys should definitely listen to on iTunes, Stitcher, uh, BlackBerry Podcast, TuneIn Radio, and 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 eventually we'll be on a Windows thingy, thing of robbers. We're all over the place. Just check us out. I'm Google blaming us. you again. The what? I'm blaming you again. For what? Because we didn't we didn't put that in the beginning. No, I did. Your iTunes, TuneIn Radio. That's no, that's your fault. Oh yeah, we got we 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 had some really good uh hashtag Yogi's fault. Yes, uh, hashtag that al- al- along with the uh, hashtag uh, Nickinated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ryan, go ahead. But uh, that being said, guys, we are going to move. We're gonna move right in. Are we gonna talk about this Captain America? Not doing it anymore a little bit. Or are we uh, moving right now? Yeah, we're gonna move on. That's all. That's all for the obligatory news and uh, updates. Now, this first feature, guys, we're getting ready to go into our features. The first feature, I am so sorry. I have played Hearthstone once, uh, and but not in the last month and a half. So, if I don't know much what's going on with Hearthstone because of the changes, I am so sorry. But I guarantee the next feature after this one. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> Yogi, well, this feature. Yeah, this this feature might be a quickie. We'll see. I know. I, I definitely want to make sure we get to uh, some call-ins because some of, some peeps are already leaving, and I, I want to make sure we get our voicemails played and everything too. So. No, R nine, don't leave yet. Yeah, he he gotta go. He gotta go night night. So SGN, thanks thanks for passing for uh, stopping by, man. We're playing your voicemail here in a little bit, maybe after this uh, this uh, discussion. But yeah, you know, I just uh, this feature is called back into the TCG group. Very simple. Um, and I just wanted to get bring a little more focus to the changes on Hearthstone and so forth. But I think I pretty much touched upon those. So we'll just go through it real quick. Um, unless people have something to to, to throw in, but I do want to say. Uh, a big thing that I forgot to mention is that Hearthstone, uh, this is the last, the fourth and final test season. So I, I know I'm what I'm going to do this weekend is I'm going to play a lot of ranked and suck it up. But it's, this is the best time to probably play ranked because you're not going to play that. You know, in the beginning of the season, you always get ra- matched against people that are much better than you until the, you know, the ELO or whatever balances out properly. So the tail end, I, I prefer. So I'm gonna finally do some random. I usually play, uh, you know, randoms or just play arena. But I think t- now people do some rank before the season's over. It's the f- last test season before they uh, do whatever they do. Yogi, yeah, I challenge you to a duel <laughs> of cards. Are you good? Sorry. Are you gonna do a gambit and, and throw uh, a card in my forehead and then make it blow up? Uh, no, that's twisted fate. Thank you. It's not. We're not dealing with X Men. We're talking about League of Legends. That too. Later. I no. still love the X Men. I just don't like what they've done with the movies so much. That they're fun, but the last one, yeah, we already we already established that. But I do definitely want to urge people to check out Soul Forge. Uh, that it's available on the iPad right now, whereas Hearthstone is not, um, and also on Steam, and it's it's you know the the, the it's a really fun game, uh, but since, since in lieu of the fact that Obi hasn't been playing much Hearthstone, I, I'll speed this up. One of the things I do want to note with um, the difference between Soul Forge and Hearthstone is that in Soul Forge you get there's less of the swarming and being overrun. Uh, and Hearthstone, there's a lot of decks that are aggressive and can let you like uh, completely overrun someone, like the Murloc decks that you see out there, where you just fill up the whole field. And if you don't have board clear, it's so painful. Got nothing you could do other than trading hits, you know. Yeah, that's a pop. yeah dude. Uh, and, 
and so forth. There's five lanes, literally five lanes, five f five spots for your cards, and that's it. And and and, and you got to be very careful about what you're playing. You can only play two cards per turn unless you have a card that lets you do more. So it keeps things a lot more balanced and it sets a proper pace. Um, it also it also does lend to maybe some longer matches, but uh, no, they're about the same. Uh, <laughs> I love this stuff going on in the chat. You guys gotta join us in the chat. Twitch.tv forward slash Obi Wan X2. But uh, that, that's one of the big differences. And if you you know if you play Hearthstone and you want to change your pace because maybe you're getting frustrated because you're getting overwhelmed like that and just trampled, check out Soulforge. Uh, you know it's a, they're good to play side by side. And I wouldn't say that either one is a uh, replacement for the other, but uh, they're definitely good, very good deck building games with. Uh, I mean, Soulforge especially has some very unique mechanics. One of the things I like about Soulforge as well, seeing Hearthstone and Magic and a lot of other games, uh, card draw as well as your initial hand have a very have a lot to do with your your how well or what what, what likelihood like likelihood you have of, of winning the match, right? If you have a crappy hand, you can mulligan to an extent, but you might get crappier cards. You know, it's a it's a chance you take. But in, in Soul Forge, your hand refreshes every turn, which I, I think is a very innovative feature and very ballsy thing for them to do. Because, you know, you could plan ahead, but you never know what's going to happen in your next hand. So it changes the dynamics quite a bit. Uh, you got to think about what's the best move now. And the moves that you do now set you up later because as you play cards, the cards evolve. Each card has three forms. And their stats get buffed, and their abilities get buffed as they evolve. It's it's crazy, and you and you you rent your your summoner ranks up, and w when you rank up, there's th you can rank up three times. Your you, the cards you played previously come in to your hand. They cycle back in in their leveled up form. It's crazy. Like you got to try it out to understand what I'm All talking right. about. I'll try it. There you go, dude. I and dude, that's like one of the games I've. I've streamed the most. <laughs> That's what yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. I'll try. Okay, I will try. We'll have a friendly match. I I challenge you to whatever you want to play in Hearthstone, though. I'm good. <laughs> I'm well, serious. let's talk about a little bit of Hearthstone real quick. What, what what's your preferred I uh, class? Account. I have a I have a Blizzard account. This includes WoW for those that play WoW. I have a Blizzard account until June. Now, if I play this Blizzard account, that's Diablo. I have everything. StarCraft, Diablo, WoW, Hearthstone. Now, I will start setting stuff up on Geeky Antics on our website. If people want to play those games. And, ho and the Horseplay <laughs> Steam the horseplay Steam community group. Don't forget that. Yes, of course. And I will start setting gameplays up with World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, and then we'll stream it. Um, so if you guys want to play, we'll do it. If, and June comes and nobody's, you know, we're not really doing anything. Nobody really wants to play. I'm just going to let my account go by. <laughs> so no more bye-bye blizzard. That's fine with me. Word. I got too much other shit I got to worry about right now. Well, you, 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 you can still play Hearthstone even if you don't have an active subscription. That subscription is just for WoW. WoW is the only... The only game that has a monthly fee in the Blizzard universe. Right, 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 right. I'm still going to play, like, Di I still want to learn Diablo more. I still want to learn StarCraft because StarCraft's kind of like a, uh, you know, you build up your army and you go get them. You know, I want to learn yeah. how to do some of that stuff. Um, I like those games. Uh, but like I said, right now, once everything slows down, you know, I get, we get the gaming house started up or, you know, the studio started up, I will definitely start playing a lot of those games. Uh, especially when my son goes to school, then I'll be able to actually, you know, it's going to be a long day, every day. Ugh. <laughs> what, what's your what, favorite, what uh, at? well, I was just going to say, what's your favorite class on, uh, Hearthstone? I was, uh, right now, I was just chatting. I was in the Twitch chat. Um, well, I have a <clears throat> 20 mage, <clears throat> a 20 paladin, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 25 mage, 25 paladin, uh, 25 rogue, a warrior, um, I like my hunter actually, believe it or not, my twenty five hunter, because it's a it's a pet murloc deck. So I have freaking massive amounts of pets coming out, 
and then I have my, you know, of course, my area effect being a hunter. Uh, yeah, I don't lose much. <laughs> but my second would have to be like a warrior. I do like a druid. A druid to me, I haven't played it now, but druid to me is a little bit underpowered. Uh, there was a question here before Ryan asked, uh, could we explain her stuff? Uh, yeah, real quick. Basically what happens when you start the game out, you start, you know, you can play three different ways. You can do a practice arena or, uh, or like a normal. Uh, and basically you start out with one person, whoever goes first gets four cards, the other person gets three cards, and I believe a mana crystal, maybe? No, that's the first person. Anyway, it's first or second, but then you're basically, it's a turn-based game, and you, th at the bottom of your screen, you'll see, uh, like, mana gems. Uh, you'll start from one, and each turn you get an extra mana gem. Well, therefore, you can play your cards. It's just like magic or anything that has, like, you have a mana gem cost. Um, if it costs two mana, then it could be a 3-2 creature. Um, later on this week, I'll tell you what, later on this week, I'm going to get back uh, affiliated with Hearthstone, hopefully with Yogi here later on this week, weekend maybe, um, and we'll actually stream it. So uh, that being said right there, <laughs> you're on the rocks, what's going on? But that being said, we'll actually get it up and um, and uh, kind of explain a little bit to you as we're playing too. So, but. Well, I got to say, uh, uh, both Hearthstone and Soul Forge have very good tutorials, but Hearthstone is a lot easier to get into and learn, but it's also a lot harder to master, I feel, just because... The, um, you have to really, really be aware of some of the nuances. Like, when do you try to? When do you prioritize clearing the board, or when, or over going straight to the face? And it's, it's always a constant battle. Like, do I just attack his face? Do you know, punch his face, or do I try to clear the board and keep that manageable? And um, and so forth. Just it, it's not quite as complex in that aspect um, because. With the whole lane, the way they have the five lanes, if you have someone blocking the lane, you're, you're gonna fight that that each each of those cards, which represent creatures, fight each other. If the lane is empty when you battle, you you hit the person straight to their face. That's how that's the way it works. Um, but it's also you know I think in some ways so forth is a lot more simplified. Even though Hearthstone is the easier game to learn, Blizzard is very good about making every genre accessible, that's what they do. I mean, that's why World of Warcraft was so big and made MMOs, it put MMOs on the map, really. But um, on Soul Forge, you don't have all these different classes to worry about. You have four factions, and then the different factions synergize with each other differently. But you can, any deck you build, you can only combine two factions at a time. And so, it, it, you know, once you play enough with Soul Forge, you get a feel for what each... Uh, each uh, faction is really known for it. For example, Necrium, uh, they, they, it's it's kind of like decay in scrolls. Uh, there's, it's a lot of death, you know, a lot of like evil creatures, zombies, and stuff like that. So it's a lot of revival kind of stuff, debuffs, um, board removal, stuff like that. That makes sense with that, you know. Um, and, and like, if, if you play it, it, it if you play, come from a TCG background, a lot of the stuff in Soul Forge is more familiar, whereas Hearthstone you can come into it with not you don't necessarily need to have a TCG background. I've heard a lot of people, um, like Michelle Madison over at VGO, she was saying that she's never played a TCG, she's never been into a deck building game, she always never found them interesting, but she played Hearthstone and she's like, wow, this is great. So you definitely give Hearthstone a try, and if you like that, it's a good entry way. Then try out Soul Forge. Uh, I'm very I'm very big on them, and they're both free. Um, Soul Forge is on Steam and on uh, iOS, and it should be coming out with the Android version pretty soon. And um, uh, Hearthstone, you can get it through the Battle.net client. That's the easiest way to do it. Just download the Battle.net client off the Blizzard site or Battle.net, and then uh, just download it from there, and then you can play that for free. Um, uh, th th another consideration to think about is the paywall. Um, and I, 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 like I said before, earlier, and I've said you know, in previous shows, so far I think is very generous with the rewards. Um, you get card packs and you know free cards pretty much daily, and they also make it so that you don't have to feel like you have to grind 
because you get three win, three victory rewards a day, and they do that on purpose so that you don't feel like I, I'm, I need to grind like crazy to keep up with everybody else. You know, it's very balanced that way. They don't want you to feel like it's a, it's a chore. Whereas in, in Hearthstone, sometimes you get the daily quests, or you know, you're just, you're just grinding uh, matches to get more gold, you know, and, and get some good stuff. And um, Hearthstone definitely has more of a paywall and a lot more grinding involved. Whereas Soul Forge, not so much. Uh, but Heart, but so forth did they they've like doubled the or tripled the amount of cards they had from like what they had months ago when we first talked about this on the sh on horseplay. Uh, they got a lot of stuff on there. So if, if you checked out so forth before and you haven't played it for a couple months, now check it out. It's a almost a completely different game. Um, so anyway, we we will be revisiting more of the TCG stuff because I'm I'm hooked on Hearthstone. Like I said, Hearthstone. Uh, you know, final test season is coming to a closing. I think we have like two or three days left as of now, uh, March 27th, 2014. So jump on it, get your rank up, get a feel for everything, and then it's going to be officially, officially out, out. And then uh, I have a feeling they're going to have some, some, some new patches and stuff coming out. I, I doubt they're going to be new cards, but there's going to be some, some interesting features coming. I, I can see it. And hopefully the iPad app is, uh, iPad app is not far behind that right well and that being said guys and i know i say that being said guys yeah <laughs> basically if you want to you know get a, a, an easy card game that's actually fun go ahead and try hearthstone like i said uh i will um maybe even sunday afternoon play for a couple of hours to uh, kind of show you guys what it's what it's all about and hopefully we can get yogi on here at the same time um, and basically, as you're playing your, your games and your decks, you're going to get better. You're going to find out what works. You know, if you're playing a Warlock, you know that as a priest, you need to have some, uh, some heals because it's going to do damage to you, lots of damage. If you're playing a Warrior, you know to have some shields because it's going to do lots of melee damage to you. So as you play and as you get better, you're going to know what works for, you know, Zerg deck, for a defensive deck, for everything that you wanted to do. So... Because a ranked is a whole different. I mean, they. It's basically like you know when to clear the board or when to hit him. It's the same thing if you guys play some kind of PvP MMO. You know when to blow your cooldowns. You know when to save them for a few minutes or a few seconds to, to you know, to see if they're going to place a certain card. You know, so it's it's basically strategy. It's learning as you go. Most of it. Word. So, feature number two, as we're getting right on to it. Yeah, and I, and I, and I see we're, we're already... I can't believe it's already been in almost an hour and a half. <clears throat> yeah, dude, yeah. And we've still got um, voicemails am, to play in. Uh, I was hoping we could have some call-ins, so... I'm right here. <laughs> this is where I live, right here. And for people in, uh, you know, that don't see the video, Obi, Obi lives in, his, in, his, in the palm of his hand. Right here. If that tells you, get somebody ask us in chat what state do you guys live in. So I'm saying I live right here, or this one depends on which way the camera is going. <laughs> we'll go with this one because that's the way it looks right for me. <laughs> but you live on a, on a Finger Lake, is basically the same. What channel is this on? This movie, this show on? I can't remember. What show? Oh, it's Arrow. On. Yeah. It's on uh, CW. CW, yes, yes. Okay, feature number two. Yogi, I'm going to let you say this first line because I've been waiting for you to say this for and since you started to say you were going to watch it. Go ahead. <laughs> feature number two is... Okay, Arrow is awesome. Awesome. This is a show, guys, that I started watching a little while ago. Um, and Yogi's like, no, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. I don't need any more shows. I said, dude, this is something you need to watch. If you guys watched uh, the Arrow on CW, it is on, I don't remember what night is on, Tuesday or Wednesday night? Maybe it's Thursday. No Friday. clue. One of these days during the week, it's on about 9 o'clock on CW. But it do have the CW app for the Android and, and uh, iOS, so that, and, that, and that has a schedule, yeah. So Before we get into it, um, we're going to do a few call-ins today. Uh, so stick around here in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm reading, and I'm reading shit backwards. Before we get into this feature, 
Yogi, do you want to maybe even play a few voicemails? Ooh. I want to. We promised that we would play a few voicemails. We, we, we could, yes. But give them a uh, while I get this set up. Uh, why don't you tell everybody how to... About what Arrow is. Why we're, why we're, why you're well, well, before we do that, let's share our call-in details so people get, get it prepped up. Watching at home, or if you're listening... Ooh, that's a big echo, isn't it? Yeah, we hold have, on. You guys want to leave us a voicemail? Voicemail at 206-415-4987. Voicemail again, 206-415-4987. You guys leave us a voicemail just saying hi or derpity derp or whatever. Yogi, we love you and can't live without you. Or Obi, I have a man crush on you. That's fine. Call us up. Leave us a voicemail. We'll play it live on the show uh, we do have quite a few, actually, right now. So um, as soon as he gets set up, I'm probably going to have to stop talking <laughs> while we're playing these because of the uh, we're uh, trying different things and trying different programs to so you guys can actually hear this stuff. And so can I. So um, we are going to hear a little, I'm gonna give uh, a little bit of background music for you guys just so we can actually, you know, so it doesn't sound so bad. And I don't have to talk 24-7 just to... Uh, make things sound sound good so enjoy the music for a few seconds we'll get ready and we'll be right back with some voicemails on horseplay be right back i saw you click on your mic are we ready oh yo I call him Obi again. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Call somebody Obi and I'm looking at myself. Ready to go, yo? I am just about. All right. We have quite a lot of voicemails. So did we did we share the uh, the call in details? We did share the call in details for the voicemails. And, and for um, and for Skype. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, that's the that's the big I one. Because if we have enough time, know. we'll have some people uh, join us on the call. I don't necessarily know how. Especially, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you want to join us in the uh, in on the show tonight or any night, just add the Horseplay Live account on Skype, uh, or you can add us via the email. It's probably the easiest way: geekyantics at gmail dot com, and then we'll. Uh, We'll uh, have you come into the call, but make sure you're wearing headsets, no speaker. We don't want any crazy feedback. <laughs> and then you can join us for the discussion, especially for the next one, where we're going to talk about the uh, arrow. But anyway, hear the voicemails, and we're and I'm playing I'm these gonna... completely crazy. I have no idea what's what. So I am going to put a um, if you guys just get onto Skype and uh, plug in horseplay at us. Horseplay exclamation point live. We do got to work on that echo. I think I hear myself three times. Yeah, it's whenever I, I have this little plugin set up. Is it, is it, it's the plugin that you told me not to run, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Some voicemail. Here we go. And by the way, we're playing them for the first time, so I have no idea what's going to happen. Oh, boy. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, maybe not. Fail sauce. Yes, there you go. yes. Ob and Yogi, big up horseplay. This is SG from the R9 Cast. Just want to give y'all a shout out. Much love and all that good stuff. Uh, much, much super dope shout out to Ob for the super dope promo. I'm gonna definitely put that on the on the show intro. It's tight. I certainly do appreciate that. And I did. Very much uh, enjoy the the show. I guess it was the last show with uh, Chip Seller. You guys were talking about the the whole Marvel universe. I think it was movies and shows, and stuff, but it was tight. I was like, knowledge was pouring out of the computers into my brain. It was great. I just want to say, big up to y'all. Big up to to Chip. Big up to all y'all. It's tight. I appreciate it a lot. Much love. And also, since you hooked me up with a promo, then if you guys need a uh, you know some intro music or outro music hit a brother up y'all know what to do 
All right, peace. <laughs> hey, dude, I really appreciate that. That man, that's awesome. Anytime you want to uh, get together and actually do it privately. Hi. Hey, hi, Yogi. Hi, Yogi. Hi, Obi. Hi, Obi. I love you guys. Hey, guys. Hey, what's going on? Obi-Wan X2 here, and I want to let you guys know that uh, I can't wait for tonight's show. we got some extra stuff that I'm actually going to put out tonight, and um, you guys just uh, got to stay tuned. Um, the, what it is, is going to be the Gamer Wives Survival Kit. Stay tuned forever. All the information tonight, um, we will hit that up here in the, sh in the future. We'll see you guys tonight. Peace. Yes, I tongue tie myself repeatedly. <laughs> Just how it is. First step. Hold on. You ready for the next one? Yeah, we gotta do that. You gotta mic. Yeah, we got like we got three more here. Ready? Yep. I want to say, what's up, horseplay? Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for watching. This is Ob One X Two. Second thing is, I want to say that is the longest. Intro to a voicemail I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Yogi, I love you, buddy. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tonight. Uh, actually, tomorrow night. Uh, this is Wednesday. Um, see you there. Peace. Hey, in my... Mine came up twice in a row. I don't even like you anymore. In my defense, I've called in the other shows, and their voicemail systems are telling you don't even know when to leave the, voice, the message. Like, you don't even hear a beep. It's like, is this thing on? So, at least, you know, I got a long intro so people know what they're calling into and what to do. But anyway, here, two more. Here we go, guys. And then we'll talk about it. Yo, yo, yo. Yogizilla and Obi-Wan X2. This is Stan. What's up in the land of OP and Fat Loots? So last, last week, you guys asked what superhero should S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent Sky be. I'd go for She-Hulk. Nothing more sexy than green skin. Uh. You remember that green-skinned Orion and uh, that Star Trek episode from Gods Destroy? Yvonne and Craig rocked it. Clo can too. Marvel, they can pick up some Trekkies along the way. Sounds win-win to me. <laughs> what else? Well, I'm kind of bummed out because Playdom's closing down Marvel Avengers Alliance on their website. It really sucks. Apparently, Disney can't keep the game on in social gaming. Otherwise, me, I'm banging out words, writing the most epic sci-fi novel ever. What's up with you guys? Nice. Who was that again? That was uh, Stan Farina, one of my uh, old uh, podcasting. <laughs> Did I come in hot there, Obi? Yeah. Turn, turn turn the volume up on the player a little bit. That's that's the it's too low. That's the most I could get it uh, right okay. now. Next one. Right but uh, now. but yeah, but Stan and I used to do uh do podcasting together. Uh, and he he was one of the recurring hosts on our on one of my shows. And we we've collaborated. He's gonna be he's gonna be our our uh, calling correspondent like our. <laughs> On the scene guy. That's gonna be a thing. We're gonna get him. Maybe he'll call in tonight too. Alright, he's the he's the last one. Here we go. Uh Yogi. I just wanted to let you know your mouth is very close to a robot penis. Uh, I'm watching one of your episodes. <clears throat> if you can kindly refrain from uh, looking at the uh, robot penis. I'm not sure if anybody told you that is a robot penis next to you. It looks like a microphone, but that's a robot penis. I can't see it. Okay. If you look at it, I'm watching episode 13 just now. And Jesus Christ. Stop looking at it. It's pretty big. Thank you. Uh, if you guys can hear it. I'm gonna tell you in a minute what I'm saying. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for the call. <laughs> oh god. Hear, if you guys do call in, you guys gotta speak up a little bit because 
Uh, we just can't hear it. Yeah, turn that go. Um, but he was saying that Yogi talks into a robot penis. Hell yeah! His long, great. Never mind. I'm not describing it. Oh we're man. Not, we're not gonna go there. Yes, that... thank you guys for the call-ins, for the voicemails. Like I said, just speak up just a little bit because we have our volume all the way up, um, and they're barely heard. So you guys just, uh, you know, talk into it. You know, even if you gotta grab your junk or. If you're not a dude, then grab something. Speak up just a little bit so we can actually hear you guys because we do want to make sure that everything is uh, shared. Of course. Definitely. <laughs> what do you got to say about that? Oh, Mr. man. Mr. Robot Penis. Uh, every, every voicemail was epic. I knew there was going to be uh, a troll because my friend told me, by the way, I may have left you a drunk voicemail. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I'm going to leave you a drunk voicemail one day. Everybody's welcome to. Uh, I was trying really hard not to like uh, bust out laughing too hard, but I got. I, I'm, I'm a little watery-eyed over here. <laughs> Freaking. Yes. Hashtag. Yeah, hashtag horseplay. Home of the ro robot penis. That's yes. what we're gonna say right now. That's the hashtag right there. Hashtag robot penis. Everybody tweet it. <laughs> go 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 go. Put Obi Wan X two. Add Obi Wan X two in your in your tweet too, please. I'm sh I'm sure that's already a thing too. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. And I'm not gonna tell you where I know it from. Please. Anime. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Sorry. But, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. but again, uh, since you know, I know we're running low on time. If anybody wants to join us for this last stretch of the show, make sure you add us on Skype. We have two actually that contacted me. Oh. Uh, one second, guys. I'm going to take the cameras away just for a second so I can actually see uh, and actually look at what they're saying. We have Matthew. That's uh, plus. We're going to add Matthew up. And, of course, the T TC Jr. Got added oh, up yeah. Too. Who do you want, Yog? Who Ma do we want? There's a, there's a Matthew guy, too? I, I don't know. Can we handle four people? You, you, you guys don't have to... They don't have to do video. It's just... No, they. No, we don't want video. We're gonna. I'm gonna set it up to where. But you guys are gonna say the whole rest of the show if you guys want to. Go ahead. Uh, I know T. Kurt will. Um, Matthew, if you're in the Twitch chat right now, go ahead and say yes or no that you can stay for the whole show and we'll, the rest of it anyway. Should be about an hour or not an hour, but another 45 minutes or so. So we got that much time left. Cool. Well, yeah, man. My yes, timer is no. way off. T. Curtis is uh, looking good, probably. Well, in the mean, in the meantime, we're talking about Arrow, and I, you know, I finally, you know, the course of a few weeks, you know, I did did some marathon runs and then multitask and watched them. I, I definitely skipped over like three or four of the first episodes, and and uh, Obi was right, <clears throat> like episode maybe two through like six. Are a little slow. If you want the exposition and the backstory, they're great. But if you're impatient like me, you may want to skip them. But the show definitely gets better and better. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm a fan now, and uh, I'm all, I'm actually all caught up. The season one finale was amazing, and where they've left off right now with Birds of Prey, um, amazing. I, I don't want to do too many, too many spoilers. But if they if we slip up, just so you know, you guys know, we might we might slip up. Uh, no promises that we won't. But uh, we will. We will. Trust me. I, I'm I'm going to say this though. <clears throat> I still do stick by the fact that I swear this show is more geared toward geared towards women. Because I swear there's so many freaking shirtless scenes and like sweaty. It's like half of the show is sweaty. Uh, What's his face? Oliver Queen. Tim! Yeah, we want to see that. I'm actually all caught up. The season one finale was amazing. And oh, he's... Right he's got... Tim, take out the speakers! Yeah. Too, many, too many spoilers, but if, they, if we slip up, just you know, you guys know. Uh oh, Tim's having some technical issues. Yeah, he has technical issues, but it, while we're getting that <laughs> squared away, guys, what we are going to do is... um. 
I still do stick by the fact that I swear this show is more geared toward. <laughs> Tim, are you there? <laughs> Tim. I swear to so freaking shirtless scenes and like Tim. sweaty. It's like half of the show is sweaty. Uh, Tim. <laughs> Tim. 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 Oh, we're ever getting video too. Look at that. Tim. Let's go. What? Well, well, I'm working on it. <laughs> He's working on it, leave him alone. All right, so I don't know if I can talk over that echo, but uh, one of the, you know, I want to say one thing. There's a recurring theme on 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 the show with, uh, with the fans, and I and I know a lot of people uh, they want. I. Wait. I'm working on it. <laughs> Four two. Just turn the um, just turn the sound of the stream off. <laughs> what the heck? What are you doing? <laughs> Tim's going crazy over here. Is he's not in Skype? <laughs> he's trying to. You guys are gonna see here. Holy shit! Is the lag that far behind? Oh yeah. <laughs> now we officially train wrecked. Yeah, no, there's no train wreck here. There's no train wreck here. Because this is what we're going to do. Tim? There we go. I'm going to call you back in a second. There we go. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to just turn the stream, turn the volume down or off. So then you can talk to us through Skype. But that being said, Matthew, welcome to Horseplay. <laughs> Matthew, are you there? Matthew. Is Matthew not here too? Hello? Oh, there we go. Your voice Hello. your your voice changer is just a little bit deep. You might want to pull it up just a little bit. A few octaves. <laughs> who's who's Matthew in the chat? Matthew Sorry, is is what well, you're not Panda, right? No, that's not Panda. What? No, is that not not Panda? Who is which, who are you in chat, Matt? Alden. Who? Carth Alden. Oh, it's Carthadin. Yeah. What's going on, man? <laughs> this is one of our this is one of our our, our faithful faithful followers faithful. that 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 follow us and watch us every single night and we're just just giddy giddy guys i'll get the <laughs> video turned back on here in a second i'm gonna wait for uh t kurt to uh turn his <laughs> muted stream but uh what you been up to matt nothing much just hitting up that diablo 3 <laughs> definitely definitely we'll definitely play that we'll see if uh, he turned the stream off real quick or uh, muted the stream anyway. How you doing, Tim? Hey, uh, can you guys hear me? Yes. There we go. Success. All right, so we, <laughs> do we get finally get to talk about Arrow now? Now, first of all, everybody in here, uh, has everybody watched Arrow? Yes. Tim? No. No. Uh, do you have any interest in watching Arrow? Uh, yeah, I... I just, I'm so caught up in all these podcasts. I don't, you know, I'm all about playing video games and all that stuff, but uh, now that I'm managing all these different podcasts and networks and stuff, I don't get to play anymore. I don't get to watch TV. I don't get to do anything. I get off work, <laughs> and I'm on the computer, and I'm typing, and I'm doing all this shit. So, I know how that is. That's what we're trying to simplify it with what we're doing, keep it as simple as possible. Sorry to say it like this, uh, Tim, but uh sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely have an interest in it. I just uh, trying to find the time is my issue. Definitely. So uh, we'll try to keep it as spoiler free as possible. Then. Uh, oh no! Don't worry about that. Okay. Just spoil away. All right. So spoiler alert in advance. But real quick, uh, Ryan, aka the uh, Goog Reborn on Twitter, uh, he wants to know how Reaper of Souls in is. So Matthew, worth it or not? In the nutshell. Um, yes. And uh, is the Cru Crusader one of your favorite classes now? I've actually, I've barely tried it. They seem pretty fun. But you gotta go with that wizard master race. 
<laughs> I've always liked the wizard system. First Diablo. We might have to do. We might have to all play that and and then have reunite and talk about Diablo. But uh, so we're talking about Arrow right now. And um, one of the things I want to talk about real quick is like all the the fan talk about you know. And it, it, to me, one of the 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 boons and the bane of the show. It's good and bad. Is the fact that it's kind of like a soap opera. I, I really feel like they're gearing it towards women a lot. And there's this tension, there's constantly this tension between the, you know, the female characters and, you know, Oliver Queen, you know, the Green Arrow. Which, mm. technically, he's not the Green Arrow just yet. But I don't want to... so sexy. Yeah, like, I swear, every woman falls for him, you know, like, even, like, the, the ones that seem heartless and, and, and like, to, like total prudes, they fall for him. It's like crazy. I'm like, dude, I, I get it. He's like this play rich playboy, but I think they're playing up that fact too much. And then the, the fans, like, I, I look at some of the discussions that people have on on, on different forums and stuff, and, and the, the articles that come out about this show, and people are like, oh, he needs to get together with Laurel, or he needs to get together with Sarah, and it's like, Felicity. yo, who cares? Exact. Thank you. Felicity, that's all I'm going to say, the nerdy girl that can hack into anything, she's cuter than all of them, she's less annoying, I mean, those other girls have issues, though I do like Sarah more than Laurel, Laurel is just got issues, dude. they just, they need to kill Laurel off already, <laughs> definitely, she needs to drink herself to death, I'm serious, I'm oh god, I, I'm not quite that belligerent about it, but yeah, they, they need to do something with their character, I mean, she's, she's easy on the eyes, but... Lately, she's been on the total derp tip, man. <laughs> lately, she, lately, she's been on the freaking retard train, dude. Yeah, That's much. just how it is, man. She's been stupid. Yeah, I heard she's actually, like, a bitch behind the, uh, the scenes as well. Like, she's yeah, not I heard she was, a, she was a, she's a freaking cunt. I mean, just everything needs to be perfect the right way, or she doesn't do her scene. I mean, oh really? Like, she seems like the type. She seems like she's a high maintenance kind of girl on and off oh, screen. Dude. You have no idea. That's why I understand why people like they swoon over her. Like uh, I know Chip was joking about it. Like oh, Katie Cassidy. I'm like, I don't know. She looks kind of like she's a, uh, you know, not too nice of a person. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the word. I'm gonna be nice. Yeah, you need to be because. Uh... All right, but anyway, let's get right into it. We do have everything working right now. Yes. And we're already Tim, Tim's just it. nodding his head. Tim's just kind of like, yeah. We all need to come on the... You know what? We need to get Tim in here when we all have freshly shaved heads and we can, like, blind everybody. Yes, look at everybody. Ready? Watch the screen. Ready? Yogi, turn your head. You've already been blinded twice. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I've, been, Tell, I've been so lazy with my shaved head lately. Tim, Tim, you don't have the white light of right above your head either. So, like, mine's, like, gleaming... Like piercing, I'm gonna blind you for a second. I look at you, look at it, kind of thing. My my patch is getting very large on the top of my head. <laughs> that's well. That's why I shaved mine too. It's, yeah, that's. I, I have no other choice. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I, you just don't have a choice, man. You, you know, know, you know how they say like some bald people, so bald, so, some baldies like they. Try to fool himself into saying, "Oh, I I, I chose to be bald because I shaved my I shaved my head, but they're really balding." You know, I, I actually I can honestly say I can honestly say at first I was shaving my head, but then nature said, well, "I'll help you out with that." And then I said, "I gotta shave my head now because I look like a hot mess. I look like Friar Tuck on crack, man. It's not it's not good. It's not a good look." Yeah, it moves. Uh, when you I don't know how old you are, uh, Yogi, but I'm 34. And w when I started getting my 30s, uh, it disappeared from the top and starts coming out the ears and out the nose. Yep. That's what happens. That's, that's yeah. the evolution of men. And then your balls get further away from your, the rest of your body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Gravitational yeah, well, pull, man. If you've ever, if you've ever listened to uh, Zcast or Knuckleballer, then I guess you know what a dipper is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's really bad. It's really funny because uh, I've been listening to both of those the, the last couple of weeks, and uh, yes, I do know what that is. I do now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Lately on Knuckle Bar, there's been a lot of penis talk. I just gotta say, if you're not comfortable yeah, with that, then uh... <laughs> we need to switch around the talk on the penis talk. 
<laughs> so yeah, back to Arrow. Uh, that, that, that's you know, I, I definitely stick by what I said. There's, there's a lot of freaking uh, shirtless, uh, you know, Oliver in there. But once you get past that, you know, there's definitely eye candy for the guys too. Uh, but the the action picks up a lot more. The the plot twists are great. Even if you see them coming, once you finally see it, like I remember saying, spoiler, all right. I remember saying Slade needs to come back. There's no way they're going to just write him off like that. They're building up that his character so much just for him to die doesn't make sense. And sure enough, he comes back. Well, and he's got that Murray Curl, Murray, Murray Curl or whatever, whatever you ever say it. He's got that in him from freaking the island. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm spoiling. I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't help it. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to spoil a little bit. I'm going to have to. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we get... do want to watch it. Uh, uh, stop listening now. Listen to this part later. Yeah, we, we already... We did a preemptive spoiler alert so no one could get mad. No one could send us hate mail or hate voicemails. Yeah. Uh, so, uh... Well, what we're going to do is we do have... You guys can look at the stream here for those that are watching. We have, of course, Yogi and myself. And then right here, right in the middle in the Skype call, we have Tim Curtis and... I'm going to say it. I'm probably going to say it wrong, but Carthaden. Uh, we see Tim right here in his camera. And uh, Carthaden's got uh, his mugshot. Uh, apparently, that's his only picture he has available. It looks like a sketch uh, artist rendition. It does. It does. It does. It looks very nice. But what we're going to do is um, I'm just going to kind of give you a background of what we're talking about, okay? Okay, this feature is, okay, Arrow is awesome. If you guys have ever seen the show, it's on CW Network. Don't remember exactly what night it is on, but you guys should check it out. Um, and, again, we're really sorry because we are going to spoil a few things that are going to happen, so. Uh, basically, what's gonna what happens is the uh, the main character. I don't know the names exactly. I can't tell you who's what their real names are, but he gets uh, shipwrecked along with uh, on his family's yacht. Um, him and his girlfriend's sister, believe it or not, they go down with the ship. So basically, is he drinking vodka? <laughs> <laughs> He's just taking a slug out of a half gallon of vodka. There we go. But basically, they go down. They get trapped on an island, and it just starts from there. And he becomes the, you know, the the perfect bow. I mean, just he could do anything with a bow and arrow, and it's just awesome. Now, granted, I'm going to tell you guys, that looks like Swifty. I'm going to tell you guys um, that right off. Off, right off the bat that the first six or seven em episodes are really not boring, but boring. Uh, just because it's just, it's boring. But as soon as you get past those six or seven episodes... You can ask Yogi. He's like, "Oh my God, I got 150 percent better." It does. It gets a lot better. Yeah, I would say um, it gets like three or four times better. There's a lot of exposition in those first episodes. And another thing that's kind of jarring is that they go every episode they do flashbacks to his time back on the island. But actually, now that I've gotten to see the episodes and got you know all of them and, and really appreciate that, it makes sense. Rather than them going through everything chronologically, they're going back to those times on the island that relate to the present day, the current, uh, the the current day, the, the current events going on. I mean, you know, it's really brilliant the way they do it. <laughs> Obi's trying. I don't know what Obi's trying to figure out. Not there. The picture for Carthen and I swear that's like that's Swifty. So one of the <laughs> things I want to say. Before we go into all the background of the story, I think we already kind of did that in, in episode 14. But, you know, if you like action, if you like uh, whodunits and, you know, betrayal and love triangles, there's a little bit of everything in this show. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, that, definitely give it a real shot. I almost gave up on it until Obi and uh, Chipsella, like, really sold me on it. But <laughs> Tim's, uh, Tim's showing us some of his equipment. Look at him. Aw, sexy. <laughs> Bringing sexy back. Bringing sexy back. But uh, that's what so, that's what I was working on, Yogi, and I finally got it working. So I just want to let you know. So when Carthaden, question for you: How far are you into the show? The whole, I mean, are you up to date? <coughs> um, I haven't watched the last <laughs> episode. <laughs> You guys that are watching the stream, or just listening to the stream. <laughs> Sorry, Carthen, I'm gonna cut you off for a second. For those that are, <laughs> I'll never look at a candy cane the same way again. <laughs> I'll never look at Chris Rock the same. I feel you, Yogi. 
Um, <laughs> but for those that are just listening to the podcast here, we have a couple calls and that we uh, got them on Skype, and we're in. They're in the calls here, and one of our callers depends on he keeps putting different pictures up. Well, he put a picture of Chris Rock sucking on a giant candy cane. I'm never ever gonna buy a giant candy cane again. And it's a very young Chris Rock too. Yeah, it's like <laughs> like maybe even 18, 19, 20 years old Chris Rock. <laughs> With a Santa hat. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you, that's so wrong I'm for so many right reasons. Now, you scare me. That's that's it. You scare me. Is that so? I think yeah. Karth is tro- trolling. Yes. <laughs> he is. He's. I think he is. I don't know. But but seriously though, I wanna. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say it was funny. <laughs> Tim Rooney, that's all you had to say. <laughs> it's funny. So I I approve. <laughs> yes. I am Obi Wan X two, and I approve this message. Oh gosh, and you gotta do the retarded thumbs up. Like every, they all have that stupid hitchhiker retard thumb thing. Oh, I don't oh, know what mean, it is. You mean, you mean like they try to pinch something? I don't know. You mean this one? I don't know. Oh yeah, I, I got one. Like, might like that too. No, 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 no. no. I know what Yogi's talking about. He's talking about this. Well, they... <laughs> no, but they do this thing. You ever, you ever seen a politician talk? I swear they all go to the same school. They learn the same kind of terrible Spanish. All and they all, talk, they all talk with their thumb. And I promise no more taxes. And that's what oh, they all... Yeah. <laughs> they're making a they're making a fist and then got that thumb up like yeah I I got you no more. yeah okay we're good like the pen the penny pinching but uh, quick question about Arrow for the, for everybody that's watched it who's your favorite character uh from the women's side and the and the male side real quick I'll I'll top you ahead I know it's hard to pick first we'll, we'll let we'll let Karth start it up sorry say again favorite character cra- characters in Arrow one female one male go. No. <laughs> just the first one that comes to your mind. You can always change your mind later. It's all right. We won't hold. We won't hold it against you. What are you doing, Kurt? T- Tim's Tim's thumb wrestling himself. I'm just hanging out. That's all. <laughs> Enjoying the show. Tim, who are your favorite two? Well, he uh, casts. He hasn't watched this. Have you seen him? No, he hasn't watched it yet. Yeah. Um, I've been a, a big fan, other than the main characters, I've been a big, big fan of, of Sarah. I wanted to love Helena, but she went psycho, bitch. What? Did you just go, did you just go, did you just go? Wait, wait, I don't know, was that, was that like a mini orgasm, or was that like, ugh? I don't know what that was. It's like, oh, that was a good R. Uh. Oh, okay. That was a good R. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I want a Helena to go straight. I think they would. It would have. She would. They would have been a good combination. But and I, I, I knew she was beyond the point of return. But so definitely Sarah, right off the top of my head. And um, no, I. Oh, actually, Felicity. I love Felicity. I got you know. She's just. She's a cutie, and she loves computers. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's a close tie. But definitely, I, I would love for for Oliver to stop being a dick and at least acknowledge that he realizes that she likes him. Uh, and I, and I love I love his bodyguard. What's his name? Uh, Deagle. Okay, Deagle. You only get one Deagle. of each, homie. Well, yeah, one male, one female. Felicity and and Deagle. Nah, I I don't like I I love Slade, but I don't like that he's gone bad. He's gone evil. So, otherwise, he would have been my pick. He's badass. All right, go ahead, Obi. Who are yours? Slade. Even though he's bad. Yeah. Yeah, man. He is really badass. Model man. He really is no, badass. No, no, I'm just, I'm just playing. I actually like uh, Oliver and um, Felicity. Actually, is my favorite too. Uh, don't like the alcoholic. She's a retard. Stop that <laughs> bitch. Um, you know. And uh, I actually, actually, Yogi did four, and I got two more too. Actually, I just got one more. Uh, the new, the kid that's, uh, oh, what's his name? Barry. It's, uh, Thea. Oh, um, Roy. Yeah, Roy. Cause yeah. Mori Kuru in there, too. And now he's protecting Thea. Oh, yeah. Roy's going to do some crazy shit in the next. Few I agree. If, if he controls his temper and they really become a team, it's going to be the hotness. Because the Green Arrow can't do it by himself. He He's never been he's never been an ADC. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's not the carry. 
It's not the Green Arrow. It's just the Arrow. He is the Green Arrow, though. They just call him Arrow now. He hasn't found his identity. We know he's the Green Arrow. That's who he is. But he hasn't found his identity yet in the, on the show. For those that are kind of wondering to themselves, what the hell does he keep saying, Murakuru or whatever? I can't even say it right. It's Marikuru is basically one of the, the drug that they created in the show that makes super soldiers. So yeah. people, the soldiers that, you know, are getting ready to die or they, you know, are one of the best of the best and they die or whatever, they bring them back to life with this drug. Makes them super strong. They got super strength. But problem is their tempers, it's just like juicing. Uh, you got short tempers and you, you know, you got attitude problem. Well, yeah. Yeah. They have short tempers and, and, uh, they punch things. It's not very. It's pretty cool looking at it. I wouldn't get one of your punches. It's also a Japanese play on the word miracle. That's you know, yes. that's what they do. They yes. always add it. Ja it's it's Japanese for miracle drug. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> Karth, do you do you, says, do, do you have some favorites? Yet? No, he doesn't have anything. He's not not really. All right, who's your least favorite? Who who really grinds your gears? I can't. Is it, who is it? Sarah or who, who I just said? Do they need to kill off? I can never remember her name. Oh, Laurel. 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 Yeah, she she was okay in season one, but now it's it's bad. And if you compare. Her, how she looked to season one to now, she looks all bony and shit. It's really weird. That's I don't like. She went it. on like an alcoholic and freaking pill binge. Yeah, she looks. Like she's, she's still on her pill binge, but people don't think she knows. Yeah, she looks like she thinned out. I'm not digging that either. In the life, so she was on a drug binge while she's making this movie. Really? I don't know. I'm just speculating. Imagine scandalous. <laughs> you heard it here first on horseplay. Misdirection there. Misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know who else I like, guys. Uh, the, I like, I like how how far the detective has come along. He's been the, one of the most dynamic characters. Like he's grown a lot. Like he hasn't been the same character in every episode. He's gone through a wide range of emotions and really matured. And the other reason I like him is because uh, I think his name is David. The actor is David Ramsey. He used to be. He used to play Harry Dresden on the Dresden Files on Sci Fi before Sci Fi killed it off. Bastards. Are you playing with, with Santa's balls, Obi? No. Okay. Anyway, do you, you, do you like the Santa's, detective? Where the hell did you get Santa's balls from? Uh, that's the way it looks to me on Skype. I'm a little confused. You're sitting there going like, are you guys going to ask me to talk or what? No, dude, we're not going to ask you to talk. you got to just chime in. <laughs> you would be like, I have something to say. I have a dream. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, you don't want to hear about my dreams, buddy. <laughs> this is a PG stream. Well, well, tell you what, t Tim, are, are we tempt are we tempting you yet with the show? With all the talk, sound like something you might be interested in. Well, obviously, I've been interested in the show. I mean, I've been following for almost from the start. You know, I've been trying to promote you as much as I can, and no, I mean Arrow, not us, not us, Arrow. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm... It's really good okay. that you like us. Though. I'm glad you like us, though. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That'd be very nice. That'd be a narcissistic thing to do is be like, so how do you feel about our show? Isn't it great? Tell us how awesome we are. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Uh, no, uh, yeah, no, I'm interested. Uh, I, But like I said before, uh, I signed up for one show, and the next thing I know... Everybody's contacting me and they're saying, "Hey, uh, can you tweet? Can you promote us? Can you use your website? Can you do all this stuff?" And next thing I know, I'm just I get off work. I work like 60 hours a week, uh, and I get home and it's like, "Oh shit, here we go. Get on the computer. Let's promote some stuff. Let's talk about some podcasts. Let's do this." And I don't even get to play video games anymore. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of ridiculous, Aww. but. Well, do what I do. What I do, do, do watch the show like half as, like while you're doing your social media stuff, you know. 
Like, while I'm blogging, I'll be, like, alt-tabbing in between it. And, like, when I get a brain fart and I'm writing, I'm like, all right, let me just alt-tab over see what's going on. <laughs> then, then when I actually have downtime, I'll may, I'll watch the actual episodes. I mean, it's better, better than nothing because I'm the same way, like, uh, the, you know, Obi knows. I haven't been doing that much gaming as much as I like. Man, I don't have any time for nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing is, like, I'm mm -hmm. uh, the newest. The newest thing for me is uh, Zombie Cast. They that's my newest deal. They made me the community manager, and uh, so I'm trying to catch up on the episodes. And I'm on number four. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, a little little ways. Uh, but I don't have time to watch TV. It's like I don't know. Yeah. It's just I get off work and I do this, and then I have to go to bed. Well, tonight, the only reason I'm on right now is because I have the next three days off. So, you know, and my days off rotate, but I don't know. It's it's hard for me because I don't have very much time, but I, and I can't say no. You know, anybody, anytime anyone asks me, oh, hey, you're going to do this for me? Yeah, I'm there. I'm doing it. Here we go. Let's right. do it. Exercise so, time. All right. <laughs> Team Tim, I want you to repeat after me. This is the, the, the horseplay exercise. Yes, sir. You ready? I am. Yogi, I want you to answer. ask me a question, and Tim's going to say word for word what I say to you. Okay? Okay. Yogi, ask me a question, any question. Is, that, is it a yes or no question, or? Whatever. Just ask me a question. What is your favorite color? No. Ask me to do no. something for you. <laughs> do you like Oliver Queen? No. No. See, that's that easy, Tim. Now I'm going to ask you a question, Tim. Hey, Tim, can you help okay. me promote um, uh, horseplay more? Yes, as a matter of fact. No! I can, I, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. I get what you're saying. I get it. No, dude. There's, it's a, it's it's always a good time to help help friends and help people that we that we've met. Like you know you, dude. You need anything from me? I'll do anything for you. I can do voiceovers and you know editing, whatever. But you know, um, it's just you always want to help out your fellow streamers and your of course your fellow podcasters. Um, right. That's that's a given. There's just got to be a time where you say, guys, yes, but not right now. No, I'm not <laughs> on my list. You know, there's. Of course, and of course, just like you are exactly uh, the kind of person that my wife is, uh, just very big-hearted, very wants to help everybody that she possibly can, and you're the same person, you're the same kind of person. Yes, I've been following you fairly closely for the last couple of weeks. I've been doing a lot with, the, you know, trying to watch out with Zombie Cast and, of course, Knuckleballer, and just, I see how you are, but there's got to be a time where you just say, hey, guys, I understand you want me to do all this. My plate's full right now. When I have an open an open slot for you, I will let you know. If it comes down to where you don't get the whatever the job or the the piece of you know whatever you want, hey, that's just life. It's how it rolls. I guarantee you, you want something to do, I'll give you something to do for us. Definitely, no problem. <laughs> but you know, just you gotta say no sometimes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Try hey, to get that in my way. And you know who has a problem saying no? Laurel, she hooks up with everybody that comes her way and shows her attention. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> um, but yeah, Laurel's just yeah. <laughs> we I don't even want to talk about Laurel right now. She makes me so mad just thinking about her on that show. Seriously, what with Carthen and what he said earlier, she needs to uh, either relapse and drug overdose. Or one of the villains that the arrow is, <laughs> is fighting needs to shoot that bitch. She needs to be gone. Sorry, that's just my personal wow. opinion. Man, I thought I didn't like her. I mean, Tim, when you watch the show, if you do start watching the show, if you have time, you'll understand what I'm saying. Well, she's just a snobby ass. Nothing's ever good for him. And it's when it's when finally when everything's coming back together, or everything is you know with her sister, she comes back home instead of being happy for her. She's still pissed off. Well, you went off with my boyfriend, you bitch. Are you yeah. serious? You mm. haven't had your sister for like five or six years. You thought she was dead. You say? That's yeah. the first thing you say to her when you see her, I'm back home. Oh, great. Now you're back home. So now I'm going to be second best again. Bitch, you got problems. 
Therapist I, 101. I also blame the writers. Wife, she is not a... Yeah, she'll give you therapy. Dude, I, I blame the writers on that, because they're definitely writing her... I, I almost don't even believe that whole turn of events. Like, if... You might have some resentment for someone, at, you know, for someone for whatever they did, you know, cheating on... Uh, you know, having an affair with your boyfriend or whatever, or your girlfriend, whatever is going on. But, you know... If you don't see so, if you think someone's dead and they come back after five years, I think the first thing you're gonna be like, "Oh my God, it's happy." I mean, especially if it's a family member. No matter what, do family's family. I mean, I have a lot of asshole people in my family, and I still love them. <laughs> right. Well, that's just that's just. <laughs> Tim's like opening his eyes, like, mm, "Preach it, brother. Yeah, preach it." Wrong. Yeah, he was telling me to preach earlier, so I was on my rant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. Tim and I, uh, you know, going out outside of the. You know, discussion of Arrow real quick. We were talking about how, you know, kids these days are ingrates. Now, you, Obi, you don't have the pleasure of this yet because you still have uh, a youngin. But when they, when I you get... I not an ingrate. Yeah, hopefully not. But it, it, it's, it's society. I mean, you no matter what upbringing, it's, it's like uh, kids <laughs> expose each other to this virus called entitlement. And they spread it on well, each other. Yes. And, and I want to say something on that. I know, I'm going to cut you off for one second, and I know I'm the best at cutting people off. But when you can sit there, okay, and a two-and-a-half-year-old or a three-year, and I'm going to just use my son because he does it all the damn time and it pisses me off. Cameron, come over here. He looks right at me. No. What? Okay. <laughs> the way I was raised, and I'm t Tim, I'm just as old as you are. I'm about a year younger than you. And... The way I was raised, if dad or mom come over here, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, because if you didn't, boom, right in the face or right in the ass with an extension cord or whatever you get your hands on. Yes, I'm not going to raise my kid like that, but still, we, it was freaking raising of hard knocks. No school. This was at the house. <laughs> and in yeah, the yeah. store... Yo, oh, mommy, I want candy. I want candy. No. I oh. want candy. Boom. No. And oh, nobody would yeah. say a word. Dude, if you even look cross at your kid in the store, there's somebody, CPS, I think we have I think we have a code 10. I think we have a code 10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've seen those kids that throw the fits in the stores, and it's like, whoa. If no, you don't take care of your kid, I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I understand, I understand a lot of these things are put in place because of abusive parents and the way they treat their kids, you know, over, over, you know, punishing them. Yes, I am, I am a firm believer a swat on the butt is not going <laughs> to hurt your kid. That's what the mass is for, to hit it. Yep. Not kill it, not knock it out. And if anybody watches this show and, or listens to this show in the future, no, I don't abuse my child. I love my baby boy with the, everything I have. <laughs> do I do I punish him? Does he go to timeout? Shut up. Does he go to timeout? Does he go? You know, does he get a little pop on the butt every now and then when he's being a, a, a horse's ass? Yes. Okay, look, I'm, do I I'm feel I'm, like you could do that. I'm laughing I'm because I'm laughing because you have one baby boy. I have two baby boys and I have two baby girls. My oldest baby girl is 15. Sucks to be you. Yes. Can I have a can, so, I, can I say a quote that my dad made me quote uh, every day of my life? Say it. When I had kids. Preach it. Preach it. You have a boy. You got one dick to worry about. You ever have a little girl, son? You got millions. Did <laughs> <laughs> you can't do nothing but laugh cuz you know it's true. Well, Yogi's just sitting there like uh, my daughter is into sports, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. And keeps you out of jail. Well, all, all I'm gonna say in the topic, that could be a whole other discussion. Maybe the grumpy, the grumpy old man podcast or something. Tim, I'm game if you are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, supposedly, Fred Rojas is uh, gonna do that. We were talking about it before. This is gonna be a thing. So I hope he does do it because I'll definitely be going on there quite a bit. I know Obi will too. Hey, hey Tim, we'll start. We'll start a podcast. And it'll be grumpier old men. Yeah, I'm down, man. I'm down. <laughs> Just playing, yo. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> I guess I'm not down. <laughs> <laughs> Yogi's looking at me like, dude. I'm trying to help somebody out. Stop. 
<laughs> no, I mean, the, the main thing is that I was just trying to bring with that was that we were tweeting back and forth on how, like, uh, the kids these days, they make, they, like, they post on, social media is kind of a bad thing. Like, I love social media. I know Tim does, too. But oh. the bastardization of social media is people complain about the dumbest things. You know, it's like oh, drama yeah, yeah. queen Wait. city. Yogi, let me interrupt real quick. I said earlier I have a 15 year old daughter. You want to talk about social media? Uh -uh. 15 year old daughter. She gets on there. She will text me. She will tweet me. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter what form of social media it is. She will get on there. Dad, oh my God, I need this for track or basketball, whatever she's into. I need it right now. And then I say, hey, uh, <laughs> when do you. What's the deadline for this? What are we doing here? And she's like, oh, well, you know, two weeks, whatever. And, oh, no, it's crazy. So, oh, I know, trust me. And it's like the, 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 you know, the teenagers are notorious for going off into their own little world and, and prioritizing their friends over family because that's what most, that's the cycle of, of life usually. But then when they need something and it involves a favor or finances or a ride, it's like, they're all of a sudden your best friend. And like, oh, can I get that for you? It's like, what do you want? Can I do this for mm -hmm. you? It's like, what do you want? How much does it cost? <laughs> like, I already know. <laughs> but, you know, it's just the whole thing about the drama queen thing. I swear, like, I, I hear so many teenagers, you know, firsthand and just seeing things I've seen. Like, everything's bullshit. It's like, oh, this is bullshit. Oh, I'm so pissed off. No, trust me. You don't have anything to be pissed off about. Give it, give it a few years. Wait till you actually go out on your own and you actually have responsibilities. Then you'll see what's bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, enjoy this time. Nothing, nothing in in your teenage years is stressful. <laughs> you don't have to deal with taxes. Let's just say that that's bad enough. <laughs> right. Exactly, exactly. But anyway, back, back to back to Arrow, back to Arrow. Let's bring it back. That you know who's the ingrate and you know who's the spoiled rat, Laurel. That's another reason I don't like her. Cause you, you, I get the distinct feeling that Laurel is like you know she's the baby of the family, right? And she's kind of gotten used to always getting the attention. And that's why she's all having this mental breakdown. Because now nah, she's not getting everything she wants, you know. And you saw you saw that, that one episode where uh, Sarah reveals that uh, Laurel knew all along that Sarah had a real big crush on Oliver, right? And Laurel, out of spite, snitched on her when, she, when Sarah snuck out of the house, right? And got the police involved and everything, and then she she swooped in and tried to and moved in on her on her crush. That's grimy. That makes me like her even less. <laughs> mm hmm. I agree. That, yeah. That that being that right there is. I mean, I love the show, but some of those things, like you said a little while ago, with the writer and how it was written, it was just retarded. Carthen, do you have anything that you want to say? Because you've just been kind of listening to us. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. But I won't Jayden be surprised. <laughs> I won't be surprised if they, like, somehow turn her into a villain and just see games. She gains super or super powers and they just kill her off. It would be glorious because I'm tired of her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to think, too, with uh, with what Slade's doing right now um, and going after his family. Well, don't you think he might even go after Laurel because that's somebody special, Tolliver? And maybe even give her some of the more Kuru, see how it does in a woman? Oh, mm. definitely. I mean, yeah. I'd see that happening. That'd be cool, man. I, I'd love it. Just to see it. And what better way to ruin Oliver's world and create that despair that uh, Slade is after than to uh, do that? Make Make... His the love of his life, the person he said he loved for half of his life, make her into his biggest enemy. That that will flip things around. That'll definitely make her a useful character. Cause then we have a, we can place our hate in a in a proper channel. And I might like her again. <laughs> oh boy! But we'll probably continue the the arrow discussion as the show progresses. I think we got like what like seven uh, episodes left in the season, Obi. I think eight. I think eight. Okay. I believe. So yeah, we'll definitely we'll keep the conversation going. I know we're we're short on time. We still want to go over some of the deals that we've caught this week, and uh, maybe see if we have enough time to do the dust off and maybe free ball a little bit. Maybe do an extended episode. But we'll figure it out. <laughs> Obi's already like I'm tired. No, no, no. We're gonna cut this well, off soon. 
I think I can free ball. <laughs> free not, ball. Figuratively, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> but you're free. You're, you're more than welcome to free ball if you want. Go you know. put them back in your wife's purse. <laughs> So, but you want to do uh, Deals for Cheap Bastards real quick? Yes. Deals for Cheap Bastards. If you guys are, you guys want to get some good deals on video games, and you're cheap as hell, like me and Yogi are, you guys go check out some of, make sure that you guys are following us at Geeky Antics for deals on Twitter. So when they come out, we can get them right out to you. Um, make sure, again, at Geeky Antics on Twitter. We'll get you guys the, the deals of the day. What is free to play on Steam this week? So I didn't see anything free to play this weekend, but I did see that all the Square Enix games are getting heavy discounts on Steam. And uh, if you want to jump on that, you should. I know Des Deus Ex Machina. I always mess it up. I know it's Latin. I'm very rusty with my Latin. But anyway, the dude, the dude, the ooh. <laughs> just get it. Get, get it. Just get it. You're confusing me. Anyway. The Square Enix it's game. Square Enix games. Just get just get up on them. They're, they're cheap. I'm not even going to try to say the name. But there's a, bunch, there's a bunch of stuff on sale on Steam. But the biggest thing I can say is that if you are have been on the fence about an Xbox One, bunches of, of bundles have been coming through uh, from Slick Deals, which they catch stuff from all from different sites. Make sure you follow them uh, at Slick Deals and get the app installed on Android or iOS, very handy, so you can catch the deals as they come through. But uh, I've seen the, the the Xbox One as cheap as like 350 for a bundle. Mm -hmm. I have. I've seen it the other, uh, the other day. It was 370 Yeah, uh, but they, they average around four, 400 though, but you get a lot of packings. Like one of them was like 425 but you get five DLC games. And it, really, the total value was around five hundred or six hundred or seven hundred. I don't know. Some crazy. Wow. They got a lot of stuff, crazy stuff out there. Right. When you get deals like that, too, guys, when you're going to go buy the Xbox in a bundle or whatever, uh, make sure you look at what it is. Um, because if I'm not mistaken, that Xbox bundle that they have for uh, just over three fifty only has like four gigs of freaking or eight gigs of internal space. That's it. Uh, uh, I think that's I think that's the deal with that they're coming out with. Um, that's why it's cheaper. Uh, I don't think they have a uh, another version of the Xbox they, One. They don't have one. Okay. No, they. they sure. Yeah. Because when I bought the 360, a, it was like that. So. If you guys have been following the news, there's a uh, $450 deal, mm -hmm. uh, Xbox One with Titanfall mm -hmm. bundled. Ooh. Yeah, 450 bucks. Uh, I believe at Walmart and Best Buy, but it's not advertised. You have to actually add it to your cart and go through checkout to get it. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not in the flyers or anything like that. You actually have to buy it online, and then once you check out, it will go down to the the four hundred fifty dollar price point. Well, you heard it right here on Horseplay. Four hundred fifty dollars Best Buy, Walmart, some of those re, uh, locations online. Um, go ahead and just try it out. If it doesn't, by the time you check out, if it's not that price, I mean, all you gotta do is just hit cancel. I think Target Target also has it for that price too. Or you could just sue Tim Curtis. That's fine. <laughs> if it's you know the price is wrong, that's fine. Uh, Amazon had it too, but they they had it for a while, but it was out of the stock, and then so just you know. Definitely. If you, yeah, if you're, you know, an avid online buyer, go for it. Check it out wherever you can on your uh, online retailers. And if you get it, you get it. If not, then <laughs> go to the next one. You might think about that, <laughs> definitely. And remember, guys, at the stream, the, the Steam free-to-play weekends, uh, they end Sunday around noonish, around midday, noon, 1 o'clock. Uh, and then just remember that during the week they actually have another deal as well on Steam. Uh, they, I think they have two to three. Depends. I think they mix it up every like every couple two or three days. Uh, the the weekend one usually starts Friday night uh, or Friday afternoon and ends Sunday afternoon. So make sure you guys check that out. And um, just you know, of course, all those are in the uh, it's the U.S. Um, you know, midday. What is it? Eastern time or I think Pacific time is where Steam is based at. Maybe they usually base the time off of uh, Pacific, but. 
Uh, the time we gave, I think, was Eastern. It's around 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Eastern when the free-to-play weekends end. So, yeah. So it's right around noon uh, I'm, uh, over on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, does Karth have, any, Karth, you have any deals that you've caught this week? Any tech stuff, gaming stuff? Anything you want to share? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> How about any deals on candy canes? Yeah, that's distracting. Mm. <laughs> I like candy canes. Oh. I do too. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we have, we have any other deals we want to share? I, I don't. Um, you guys just remember uh, there are a couple websites out there uh, that you guys can always find deals on. Of course, HumbleBundle.com. Everything that's uh, sold out of Humble Bundle goes, 10% of it does go out of the store now. Out of the online store, it goes 10% and goes to charity. Uh, we've checked that over a couple times, and it is true. Of course, uh, www.CheapShark.com and SlickDeals.net. You'll find a bunch of deals um, that even myself and uh, Yogi Zilla has has picked up uh, for our long list of uh, cached games that we have not even opened yet. <laughs> and that's just how it goes. Tim, did you have any uh, deals that you found um, here lately that you thought about doing but just haven't? Uh, as a matter of fact, thank you for... Uh... Throw me out there, but I actually do not. <laughs> I have no deals other than the one I shared earlier. Definitely, thank you. And of course, if you guys do come on here and do a Skype call with us, I will throw you under the bus several times. It's up to you to dust yourself off, flip the bus driver off, and keep rolling on. It's just like knuckleballer, man. Exactly, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll be the bus driver. <laughs> no problems. <laughs> oh yeah. Would you be like that bus driver that beat up the really un, uh, like uppercut that one annoying girl? Remember? No. She got up in his face and spit in his face, and then like was trying to was slapping him up, and he's like, "Oh hell no, uppercut, Hadouken!" <laughs> Did he get in trouble for that? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I would have done the same thing. I have, I have, I'm very patient, but if someone gets up in your face like that and they're threatening to hit you, I'm like, oh no, don't put your stank breath all up in this. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break something. <laughs> I'll headbutt him at least. So like, make I it see, break make it look like you trip and then you accidentally headbutt him. It's like, oh, I tripped and my head fell into their nose. <laughs> <laughs> I tripped on that little pebble on the ground. Sorry, my clumsy feet. Doom, headbutt. You broke my nose! Sorry. <laughs> hey, if we're plugging things... Plug it. Okay, I would like to plug a book. I've been on a rant for the last probably two or three months reading zombie books. And like I said, I'm on, I think, episode four of The Walking Dead. I just can't find the time to push myself to watch the TV shows. But the books? Oh, I'm reading zombie books like crazy. We have a uh, a fellow community member named Rachel Drummond who started writing zombie books. Her first one is out. It's on, uh, I'm reading it on Kindle. It's called The South Forsaken. Uh, I read the first one. She's halfway through. I talked to her, I think, two days ago. She's halfway through the second book. So uh, if you're into zombie books, it's pretty good. I really enjoyed it, so. Just want to throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody speak now. I was waiting for you to say something else. You're like, and, uh, yeah, really good. And I really like oh, it. It, it is good, and I really like it. <laughs> that was very I compelling. I for uh, Obi's little voice to come in there. It shocks me every time Obi comes in with his little voice because it is shocking it just it's weird <laughs> what give us a, give us another taste your little girly voice whatever it is i don't know what you call it girly voice that the, hurts the annie voice oh. that dude you know what i have a girly <laughs> voice that that you know what i'm you're sorry really you're kicking me <laughs> off man <laughs> okay <laughs> there. there we go there you go there guys. we go 
You guys do play League of Legends. That's Annie. Uh, I get I get a little bit. I do her lines every now and then. Freak everybody out. That's you know, because I just come out of the blue and I'm talking like this and go, "You wanna play?" You know, just it, it, uh, what's up? So, yeah, there you go, Tim. You know, you know what, Obi? You never see me be in a server with uh, Annie. Every time there's an Annie on the other team, I all ch I all chat and I go, "Annie, are you okay?" <laughs> I just can't help it. Are you it. okay? Are you okay? You okay, Annie? <laughs> the king, the king. That's the real king, king of pop. That's the king of pop. That's right. I love Michael Jackson. He's a little we're weird, but have, we are definitely gonna have to have Tim back on here um, with one of our uh, future shows because we don't get the free ball hardly. We're gonna do some dust off, but man, it's you know. We gotta make a. We gotta Yogi. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go totally. We're just gonna have some 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 dot points, some bullet points that we're gonna follow. But we're gonna free ball every the whole show. <laughs> That'll That's be good. You know, I'm all for it. I'm totally happy to come on your show. You guys are awesome, and obviously I've been supporting your show, and I love your show. Uh, if you guys want to talk about Halo and fan fiction and all the books and everything that goes along with Halo, then I will talk. Oh, good reminder. I wonder if they still have the books. There was a couple of books as read by Will Whedon on uh, Humble Bundle. And they have some, some books on some ebooks on there. I think I may have just missed out on that bundle. I'm going to check it out. Check it out. If, if it's still there, it might have a day or two left on it. But, uh, yeah, they have a whole, like, Ten books for like six bucks, and you get an uh, audio book, like a reading, a uh, Will Whedon reading something, and one of his written works. I mean, it's pretty cool. Some really random stuff. I think it has some zombie books in there, some sci fi stuff. So, nice little mix of stuff. Stuff that honestly, most of it I never heard of, but I'm like, I recognize the people that wrote it. Oh, might as well check it out. For six bucks, you can't go wrong. <laughs> right. Exactly. Might as well. Yeah. It's just like a video game you get, Yogi. You know, oh, I get all these games for three dollars. Guess what? I have four hundred games in my inventory, and I've only played ten percent of them. Yeah, but a book is good because a book, you know, you'll always, you'll eventually go to get to it, or you, you might come back to it again. You know, especially like I don't know if you just burnt out on gaming, you could just, you know, there's a lot of times, a lot of situations you could do read a book that you can't really game. You know what I mean? That's my bookshelf. <laughs> That's huge. That's my bookshelf. It's like a massive library. I just, I just saw the chair, and I thought you were about to make like a snuff film. I'm like, okay, Tim, what are you doing? <laughs> That's the ta no, no, no. That's that the chair that I. That in private, Yogi. <laughs> Yogi, that's, that's private chat, buddy. Private chat. That's on the other stream. <laughs> that's the chair that I torture people in. <laughs> it looked like that's a scene straight out. Yeah, that's like a scene straight out of, like, Arrow. See, you gotta watch the show, then you'd appreciate that even more. <laughs> yeah, I should. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But as you guys are uh, watching this, um, we do want to make sure that you guys do check out um, us right here. Uh, of course, on Geeky Antics. What was that? <laughs> wow, let's try that again. You guys right here on this, you guys did enjoy the show. We do appreciate you guys watching. We do want to make sure that you guys do check out uh, if you guys do have skype go to horseplay uh exclamation point live is our skype account you guys can be in the show with us like we did tonight with uh tim and Carthaden. um uh just being a part of our feature or even just a, a free ball sometime yeah you can do this right here but if you guys do want to leave us a voicemail you guys can leave us a voicemail right above my head 206-415-4987 to leave us a voicemail, and we'll play it on the show just like we did a little bit earlier. Guys, make sure you guys do check out the Geeky Antics uh, gang, Geeky Antics Network Global. Yeah, he had to do it. But short for gang, go check us out there at geekyantics.wordpress.com and check out us. I mean, this is that's where we're at, guys. And, of course, our Steam community page at Geeky Antics. Holy cow, it's a lot. And Yogi, if you're going to suck on a big old candy cane, you're going to get on, right? Definitely. You think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't it's know. Your show. It's your show, not mine. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
I don't. I don't. No, I'm gonna leave that to Carthen in there with his uh, candy cane sucking. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, some some late breaking news before we finish our plugs. I, I just got a tweet that uh, Phantasm Five has been filmed in secrecy, and, and there's a teaser trailer out there, so you may want to check out the interwebs. I'm sure it's on YouTube already. What was the name again? Remember the Phantasm movies? With, yes, with, a, I do. with the ball that with the blades that yeah. come out of it, yeah. Phantasm yeah. Five, dude. Yeah. Nope. Hard yeah. for the horror fans. There you go. A little something to get excited about. If you guys that creepy, if... uh, there was like an Undertaker guy. Yep. And he, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That's good stuff. Hell yeah. If you guys would like to send us an email. You guys can send us an email at geekyantics at gmail dot com. So that you guys can, if you guys have a, a request for a popular show, if you guys can't get us on the WordPress, I know I'm cutting everybody off and you guys are all laughing at me. <laughs> Go ahead and email us and we'll get right back to you as soon as possible. Again, if we don't answer you right away, don't freak out. Don't leave us 400 voicemails saying, why are you guys answer your email? We'll get to you, I promise. Yeah, just leave one really funny voicemail. Two is fine, too. Not two. Or two. Not 20. <laughs> Nobody said 20. You said 20. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have fun with you on the next show that we do together. I'm just messing with you. I'm going to have fun with you on the next show we do together. I can't wait. All right. You're mine, boy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yogi? You're, just, you're slipping into candy cane territory there, buddy. Definitely candy cane territory. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Does this make you feel better? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I rub your bald head? Mm. Not that one, you put it. Oh. My bad. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I can't do it straight face to me, boy. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> anyway, plugging. Would you guys, uh, I, can't really, I lost my spot, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Dude, Yogi, I'm blaming Tim on this. Yogi's just sitting there like, yeah, we're friends. Flowers.com. Enter in the... Flowers.com. <laughs> Enter in the code Yogi for Flowers.com for 10% off. <laughs> we don't have any affiliate marketing yet. We will do that, though. So if we whore, if, if we whore our, our, you know, in advance, just so you know, when we whore ourselves out, don't, don't get mad. Stuff doesn't pay for itself. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. People get mad when you start plugging stuff that you get paid for. These plugs are done through the kindness of our heart. Okay, go ahead, Obi. We, we plug things, guys, just because, you know, with, with Knuckleball Radio, ZombieCast, Cast, you know, uh, AllGames.com, we plug these because we enjoy uh, what they do because they do the same thing we do. So we want to help our fellow podcasters out in any chance that we get. Now, Yogi, since I've lost my spot... Because I just, I totally exit out of the show notes. Oh, I, I will take over. So, royalty-free music is provided by Techno Access, Techno with a K on YouTube. And that's great because it's a good way to avoid uh, getting your three strikes on uh, YouTube because Google's uh, full of assholes and automated bullshit. Uh, also, sound effects, if we ever use them, uh, you may uh, hear some sound effects. Some of them are custom-made. Some of them are made by our mouths. Some of them are made by our anuses. Uh, and freesound.org. <laughs> I think we might still hum about it already, so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Jacobson has entered the building. He's going to play his guitar while we try to talk. <laughs> oh. We have a round of applause for Tim Hudis Jr. <laughs> My wife's going to come in here and go, shut the hell up, you're waking up again. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, Miss Devil. <laughs> Don't hurt me again. Sorry. So so, ba- so back to the world of plugs. HumbleBundle.com. Don't forget to check it out. They, also, they not only have video games, they have all kinds of random stuff, including books. So peep it. There's something for everyone there now. Mm-hmm. Very, very good stuff for geeks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, highlight videos and audio casts. You can check them out. Uh, Horseplay Uncut and Horseplay Live HD. 
I have him on my channel, and I don't know what Obi's doing on his channel. He's being a perfectionist, and eventually we'll have him on his channel, Obi One X Two. But for now, just check him out on my channel, Yogizilla. So if you miss the live show, if you don't want to go on Twitch, uh, you can check out the video there. If you happen to be listening to us in the audio form, what else? Again, what, shout outs to all our friends at uh, Gaming History One Hundred One, Sega Nerds, The Gaming of the Shrew, formerly the Sega Addicts, Casturbus. Doctor Who Podcast, Orange Lounge Radio, R9Cast, Knuckleballer Radio, Zombie Cast, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Cast, and the B-Team Podcast. Most of these are on AllGames.com and or Stitcher. And also, just stay tuned. Make sure uh, you check back on our website, geekyantics.wordpress.com. Uh, that's the beta site, and we will be reblogging and syndicating a lot of uh, content from different uh, podcasts and blogs and all that good stuff. And it pretty much covers everything. And also, stay tuned. In, in our, one of our future episodes, we will be going back to the basics, uh, talking about old school gaming, doing some retro gameplays and uh, reviews, and trying to see if uh, our favorite memories of gaming are nostalgia or something more. And we'll also go back to our roots in League of Legends and the uh, whole MOBA thing. Especially if, if we could get on uh, Heroes of the Storm beta, or oh, technical alpha, anytime soon. Blizzard, yeah. come on, make it happen. So, any other plugs, guys? Carthenon, do you have anything else to say, sir? Oh, yeah. You know, I have a question. You know, the real question is... And what everyone would love to know is, can you show nuts on stream? Yes. <laughs> I will show everybody nuts on stream next week Thursday. Stay tuned. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a bowl of peanuts handy, and if people say show me your nuts, I'll be like, here you go. Just show the bowl. I'm being for real. I'm gonna show you my nuts on stream next week Thursday. I'll make sure I uh, gouge my eyes out. Can you no, cut just... your balls as well? <laughs> no. I'm not going to show you my balls. I'm going to show you my nuts. Well. <laughs> Welcome to Candy Cane Creep Town. Welcome to Horse Play. <laughs> hey, guys. This is Obi-Wan X2. Right over there, my cohort, Yogi Zilla. A couple calls right here. Tim Curtis and Carthaden. We'll see you guys, wait, before I say that. Once again, make sure you guys hit us up on our network, geekyantics.wordpress.com, and leave us a voicemail. We will play it on if it's not too up. 206-415-4987. Again, number again is 206-415-4987. So we went next to Horseplay. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. Would you cop Swifty's nuts for a dollar? Okay. No. Yeah. Whoa, look at that white guy dance. One, zero, we're out. <laughs> Are we clear? Are we clear? Yes, clear. All right, let me turn off my recording. Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs>